Hi, welcome back. Nana here and then uh, we are into a special session on this uh, uh, builds of material actually, uh, in the manufacturing. So I thought that I will now introduce you to this now. So please uh, watch and then take uh, notes of each and every point when, uh, because I'll be speaking a lot during this session actually. And then uh, take a notes of it. <clears throat> so here I will now have a look at it whether I have attached the bill of materials for you or not. I'm not sure about it. I go to the e-business documentation. So I have not added it. So let me add it to you now. <coughs> you go to the what's called uh, e-business documentation. I have to go to the OEM now, and then here I will now go to one document. It's the ATO process. <coughs> so let me add it to your kitty actually. Go there. I will now later on. I will now upload it. I will, on. I will now go to the documentation four, and then I will now paste it over here, and then I will now give a numbering. Afterwards, it will get automatically uploaded. Is a 29th document on ATO process because this is a basically for order management actually, and so I know that. Well, let us now go and then open it up and then see. But how exactly it is the EBIS document, and there is not much of a change as far as EBIS and fusion is concerned. Find double click on it and then we'll now have a look at it. So, the ATO process ATO stands for assembled order. So, whenever you talk of manufacturing, you'll be having a parent in the top, and then you'll be having components in the bottom. Actually. So, every bill will be a single level bill. Remember, every bill is a single level bill. And then it will have one parent and then it will have multiple components. You know, you can't have multiple levels actually. And every, every bill is a simple single level bill. So I'm going to create what happens at the top one ATO model. So it will be interface to manufacturing. Actually. It will be interface to manufacturing. This is a, uh, what's called top level model. And then it has got three uh, what's called option classes. So the PZ is an option class. MON is an option class. The accessory is an option class. Right? We have got three option classes. So every bill is only a single level bill. It will have one parent and then multiple components. They are all called option classes. And below option, we can again have another option class. So a P4 is an option class. And then the Core 2 DO is an option class. It was all made long time back when 10 years before. <laughs> Nowadays, nobody talks of Core 2 DO at all. They talk only of I3, I5, and I7, actually. Very long back, it has been made, actually. So is what else? So what we have got. So below a model, we can have an option class. And below an option class, we can again have a model. Fine. Model, option class, model is all very much possible. Fine. But Below the option class, what happens? Uh, you can even have a model. And then this is a standard item. The P4 2 GB is a standard item. This is also a standard item. And then uh, the table is an included item. <clears throat> that means what? If a customer chooses any one of them, either the 2 GB or a 4 GB, the table will be given to him free. So the included items are free, basically. We are going to configure that and show you. But I cannot demonstrate it because none of the order managements are working actually here. So nothing is working. No manufacturing is working. It's very, very difficult. People have made so much of R&D and then spoil the instances. Actually. So the components, these two components are known as competing components. They compete with each other. That means what? Customer can choose a 2 GB PC or a 4 GB PC only. He cannot choose both actually. So they are all competing components. So the competing components have got multiple various ways of configuring actually. You're going to see but how we are going to do it now. So this is, what so this is a bill. So this is a first level bill, and then uh, the PC is a component for the comp, uh, computer model, and then whereas there is a parent for the P4 and C2D. So one component of a parent, one co one component of a parent can be a parent of another bill also, and this is known as an indented bill. So this is a one level indentation, this is a second level indentation, this is a third level indentation. So we have got three levels of indentation over here. So a indented levels can go up to 60, but practically speaking, you won't be able to see more than three levels actually. More than three levels, you cannot see now. Fine. So more than three levels is very difficult to see. So uh, more than nine levels, fine. More than nine levels is very difficult to see. And uh, uh, in the industry, if they go for more than nine levels, it becomes very complex. And then uh, uh, Oracle in themselves are saying that uh, we are not seeing people configuring more than nine levels of indentation actually, even though they have got a very high level. Also. Now this will be given to the customer configuration. So customer is going to configure it. Fine. That will be taught in order management training. And then he will now say, out of this, I want uh, the PC and then the monitor. No. I don't want any accessories at all. I'm going to choose it. And the PC is going to choose code to DO. And then again, switch what happens, you know, choosing the 4 GB RAM. And then the table is included up. And then against the monitor, the LCD monitor, and then the monitor cover will be given to him free, actually. <clears throat> so this confer customer configured item will be a single level bill, actually. It will be having uh, the computer, the, the model in the top. And then afterwards, all the components will be populated as a single level bill as far as system is concerned. But in reality, the manufacturing will be manufacturing only as per this. As per the indentation only, they will not manufacture. But as far as representation of the sales order is concerned, whatever he has chosen will be coming here as a single level bill. 
one parent and then the rest of the things will be coming as a component actually go there then what happens here we are going to in ebiz we will be progressing it no fine go there actions progress order here we have a different process actually in which we will be getting a star item the star item is nothing but the component the model name star a running number here also we have the same concept no fine there is known as a atu item and or is famously known as a star item so here also we will be creating the same thing and then uh, uh, in ebiz it will not become supply eligible here it has got a different status actually in ebiz it will become supply eligible it becomes eligible for supply and then afterwards we keep our cursor on the star item and then we will not progress the order and then afterwards the concurrent auto create final assembly orders will be done so once that is done what happens a job gets mass loaded with so here it is a different process altogether these two are different process in operation but i want to show it to you for one of the make item but uh, none of the systems are working actually if you have any good systems you tell me any vision system actually and then anyway. then afterwards it will be going to waiting schedule this is the way it works in a or called in the ebiz actually here all the fusion instances are spoiled actually you will not see but whether anything anywhere anything is working or not we'll not see this <clears throat> so there are any questions on this now fine so it is a parent and component and then component may be a parent of another bill and then uh, uh, you can have up to 60 levels and then a uh, maximum beyond 9 uh, uh, oracle themselves has not seen any uh, implementations which are going beyond 9 levels of indentation actually and the customer configures it the, this is called a customer configured adu item fine because it is assembled to model fine because ignore it and then we will now create in the system an adu item fine, we had created adu item by actions progress order here there is a different process altogether now fine so in fusion is all different is all ebus basically and that's it fine because ignore it <coughs> So no, it is also called a kit item like that. Yeah, yeah. Kit like item is a different one. Kit item okay. is a different one. Uh, uh, I will explain since you asked for the kit item. I will not explain to you. I will not explain the kit item for you. No. <clears throat> Similar functionality, right? Similar okay. functionality, but it's a slightly different one now. Fine. So the kit item is a different one since you asked for. I am not going to explain that now. See, Nana, what is the difference uh, between ATO item and ATO model? Yet your model is a top model, a computer model. Yeah, I am having it, and I have multiple things like a PC option class, monitor option class, and accessories option class. Fine. So the customer will not be buying a model actually. He will be actually buying a either a 2 GB or a 4 GB PC actually, either a P4 2 GB or Core 2 Duo 2 GB. But he is not going to buy a model. Actually. Model is not a physical item. Models and option classes are logical items. Models and option classes are logical items, whereas the standard items are physical items. And this is a leaf of a uh, what I am saying, inner dead tree. In inner dead tree, this is the last level. Below this, we cannot have anything at all. <clears throat> oh God, Namesh is asking, do you have a meeting? Fine. I have even sent a lot of messages. You will respond. Please carry on. Oh, please respond. I am responding. Ask him to come and join. Okay. Mm. So what is a oh. sir? Uh, will will a set of books be example for a kit item? Like I am having no, mathematics, physics, no, 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 chemistry. No, no. <laughs> I will not. I will not show you. I will not show you. Sure. Sir Kapil, uh, what is the PTO? Miss PTO yeah. is the same. Uh, okay, PTO is not the same actually, fine. Uh, because we can only demonstrate in a, what's called a, uh, in a, what's called yeah, EBS environment here. Uh, uh, ATO is not working at all, fine. Even ATO is not working. I will not know what exactly. One second, one second. See, I asked for the kit item now. Let me go there and then see this. Fine. Where is the fusion manufacturer? Fusion OEM training. In the fusion OEM training, I will now open up the fusion agenda actually. <clears throat> Fusion OEM worksheet. So the kit item is a different one actually altogether. So go there. So here I will be having a kit item actually. One second, where is it? Tire, tire, tire. The kit item. So what I will do is in a kit I will be having a laptop kit actually. So laptop is a physical product which I am going to ship now. The carry case is also a physical physical product, but I am not going to build it actually. So the laptop is shippable and billable. The carry case is only shippable. The extended warranty. I am now giving you two-year extended warranty. Fine. The two-year extended warranty is going to be what is only billable and not shippable actually. So I'll be configuring this as a shippable and billable. The carry case is only shippable, not billable. The extended warranty is only billable, not shippable. So this is a kit item. So once with the customer orders for it, I'll be having a price for the kit actually. I'll be getting a laptop kit. The laptop will be having a price, and then the remaining items uh, prices will not be included in the kit at all. Fine, kit will be having one common one. Fine. So if he buys it, I will be uh, what I was interfacing it to uh, shipping execution where the laptop and carry case will be uh, will be shipped, and then once when the shipping is completed, the extended warranty will be on a hold actually. So once when the shipping is completed, it will also progress, and then this laptop. The laptop kit as well as the extended warranty. Fine, everything will be getting interfaced to what I mean. The laptop kit, the laptop, the extended warranty will be interfaced to AR, 
and then ar will low bill only for the kit item and not for the laptop and external warranty so that way it will be working upon point but again it will all be conducted in the order management training provided if any instance works actually and everybody has spoiled it the technical team has gone in and spoiled it. Uh, technically technically how it is different the external warranty is not part of bomb right what is the order can you can you speak a bit loud yeah technically the kit item how it is differentiated from the normal bomb So, it is a, a, a so once when you apply the template or kit item, so that will be getting applied upon this. Fine. Oh, that is a template called kit item. Yeah, it's a kit item. Kit item will not be interfaced to shipping actually. It's a kit item. Kit is a collection of items actually. Kit is a collection of items. So I used to demonstrate in the order management. Fine. This is not anything to do with the uh, master items or anything like that. So let's on this one. Oh, yeah. So now let us go there, and then we will now have a look at uh, the current training. I'm fine with that. What do I do? So here, whatever we go there, and then in this place, <coughs> we will now uh, open up our uh, uh, additional docs for fine with that. Want it? And then I will now open up this. <coughs> the configurator exercise I'm opening it up. Double click on it. I'm opening it up. So this is a configurator exercise which has been designed to what happens? Uh, do it now, fine with that. So we will be having a model at the top. We'll be having four option classes now, uh, and then we'll be having what again? The standard items are there. And remember, below the standard item, we cannot have any option class or models. We can have only standard item. Below standard, we can have a standard, but below standard, we cannot have any models or option classes. Please take a note of whatever I speak. Now I am speaking a lot now. So below a model, we can have an option class. Below an option class, also we can have a model, but below a standard item, we cannot have any models or option classes. But we can have standard items below this. We can have standard items below this. But that fine below us. So, uh, Nam, sir, option classes can we can add below a standard item, right? Below option classes, we are adding standard items. Yeah, and below standard items, uh, option classes no, cannot. Or not possible. Below standard item, we cannot add anything. Sta the standard item or the leaf of a indented bill actually. Below but, standard item, we cannot have any option classes. At all. But uh, but suppose uh, it comes in some other level, like in level four or level five. Whatever level. If you have a standard item below standard item, we cannot add any models or option classes. You try, it will not work at all. Oh, okay. At any level, it will not work. It okay. Not. Because standard is the least leaf level of an indented tree, so below which we cannot have anything at all. <clears throat> so I think Ramesh Koshala, somebody might have answered it. I think probably. <clears throat> Please answer it. Ask him to immediately join. I have yes, sent an email yeah. also, and then I have sent uh, uh, messages in a WhatsApp group also, and then a Telegram group also. And people are not watching it actually. <clears throat> okay, thank you. <clears throat> now we go there, and then we will now have a look at it. Okay. Now, uh, what I did is six zeros are all components actually, and then afterwards we have seven zero zero two, fine. And the seven thousand we have uh, models and option classes actually. So what I will do is I will now uh, replace the six zero with my own number now. Thank you. That you want. Let me replace it, and then I will go there. And control F. I will now find what six zero. Six zero is the one. And then I will now go to replace it with what will say A04. So we have got plenty of uh, prefixes available here. Fine, you can use it from A01 to A99, Z01 to Z99. Fine, something you use it because nobody, nobody would have what happens. Or you have your own prefix actually. 60, I am now replacing with A04. Fine, click on uh, replace all. Fine, click on replace all. So 60 will be replaced with A04. And click on close now. Fine. And then 70s, I am going to replace it with A05 because it's the next level actually. 70s. <coughs> I will not replace with A05. So replace all. Seven zeros will be replaced with A05. Click on replace all. Be fine anyway. So you first of all replace everything and then save. Fine. You replace everything and then give a save. Now uh, for this exercise, what I will do is I will now create this bill, this bill, and then this bill. Fine. Only three bills I am going to create now. Fine. <coughs> so these bills I will now create and I will now show it to you. So before which what happens? We have to first of all create the items. Actually. There are three items are there. Here one item and then one item. <coughs> so I will now create these five only and then show it to you. If you feel like you can even create the entire uh, combination, then make a check of it. Let me go there and then I will now take a copy of it. And I will now create an item. Fine, five items I had to create for this exercise. <coughs> I will now go there. So uh, this uh, ETAB is not working. Tell me which instance is which uh, uh, thing is working nice now. Fine, anybody? And even tell me which instance is working nice now, so that I will not try on that now. <clears throat> got plenty of instances. Anybody has got a good experience, I will not try to create it in that place. Actually. ETAP is working fine. 
you can use e tan sir e tan e tan only i worked there also order management is spoiled actually fine what to fine i don't have any because so i am using e tan sir e -tan, okay fine uh, for supply chain it may be good uh, but order management is not all because i cannot mm. show it to you properly and that is the only way because i have configured my thing only on e tan only <clears throat> okay let me go there so we'll not for the e tan itself so if you don't have any experience i don't know what e tan <clears throat> otherwise you try in some other instance for the order management actually thank you very much click on confirm and since i am now working on scm 15.student we have to add the order management role fine click on it first of all you go and then add the order management role if you are working in a different instance i have already added here and go to the tools and then go to the security console go there Click on security console. You're going over there now. Tool security console. I'm going over there. I'm going to add an order management. I'm going to the users now. Thank you for the users. And then I will now put SCM 15 now. SCM 15 and then enter. So we're going to add it. Click on it. Open it up. And then add this role. GSC role for SCM O to C is for order management actually. Order to cash actually. Add this role. So your uh, OU SCM role is for uh, is for uh, what's called your uh, inventory for all the things. And then PRC underscore all. Is the one for procurement actually. Note it down. So this is a role, is a, is a, is a vision role. This will not be available in the field. Remember, fine. It's only for the Oracle universities visions uh, interventions. So OUSCM role is for all the uh, functionalities of uh, what I'm including data access. Data access is also added. And the OUSCM role is the one. And then this one uh, is for all the order management and then order to cash actually. Order cash. Fine. GSC role for SCM OTC. And then for the procurement, it is PRC underscore all. They have everything inbuilt actually. No data access is required for those things. So PRC all fine. This is this role you have to add. To. Fine, add it. Add it. Click on done now. <clears throat> and then go there. And then that role has to be added. No, no need for any data access. Everything is inbuilt actually in this place. Let us go there and then create the item. Fine, click on it. Uh, noted. Five items I had to create now. I had to create the five items. So go there, click on it. I will now go to uh, this uh, product management and then go to the product information management and then I will now create the first item. So click on create. So click on create it now. <clears throat> so it's a zero zero zero. Go there, and then everything is coming. Let it be anything. It doesn't matter. Item class it doesn't matter at all. And then the design is a FG actually. Fine by, by by nature, whatever sir, they are given a FG actually. Fine. And then go there. I will now paste this item, and then uh, some more other or some extra spaces has got got inbuilt into my uh, what's called Excel sheet actually. So what you do is uh, you delete all those things. Go there. Go there. Delete, delete, fine. Till M is coming, fine. No extra spaces actually. No extra spaces. And then take a copy and then put the description. So the first one. So it's a finished good. So these are the three finished goods which I am going to create. Go to the associations and let me associate with that. What child or you associate to zero zero one because zero zero one is inbuilt on that now on that uh, one on that uh, role actually. So zero zero one you can put it. Select and then click on apply. And click on that. That's it. Fine. Go there. Click on it. And then save and close. By which mode? The 8 GB RAM is now created. And save and close. And then we have to create four more items. Now, fine. Go there. Click on it. I will not take copy of the 16 GB RAM. And then we will now create the item. Go there. Click on create item. <clears throat> and then it's on the 000R. Go there. And then uh, click on OK. Go there. Uh, now paste it. And then delete all the extra spaces up to M. M will come. Fine. Go there. And then paste it over here. Now. Delete all the extra spaces. The description is okay, but at least on the main one, it has been done. I go to the association, then let me associate to the child or go to the actions, and then go to select NAT. And then it is 001. Enter it now. <clears throat> select it and then click on apply and then click on demo. Uh, so, no need of any template? Like it is already applied. Now, fine, you have seen that. No? I'll not show you again. Fine. Template is already applied. Click on save and close. Go to the third item, I'll not show you. So, one year warranty. Fine, go to that point. I will not put a one year warranty. It is basically a shippable sort of thing. I have not made too much of an RD on this. So click on create. So go there. If you put 000, the template comes automatically over here. You can see it. the template is coming. Okay, fine. So the oh, okay, so even for AT also, we have this. No, no, no. I mean, as I'm just coming. I'm just coming. Fine. Okay. So all the finished goods, these are the three finished goods. I'm now applying this template and then I'm going to associate. I'm going to the association. And then here, let me associate actions and then go to what's called self nat so item has to be open. Basic. So it's a 16 one year warranty. So the third item, delete all the extra spaces now. Basically, I don't know how it has gone into the extra sheet. Some, some other, go to the association, then whatever. So another way, the item is given, the action set is not possible. Find 001 and then enter in. Select and then click on apply and then click on that. 
Oh, I will not save it. The three items are now created. We are going to get the fourth and fifth item for this one. The fourth item is that what's called option class. Oh, so it's option class. So A A05. So it comes in they're all in A04 actually. We have done it. And then in the A05, we are going to have what the DD mandatory option class. So keep a prefix accordingly as per yours. Otherwise, what happens? It will be clashing with others now. So go there, keep on it. I will not go to the page. So here I am not going to change this to ATO option class. ATO option class is manufacturable actually. <coughs> you got to change. You select and then push it outside and then choose the ATO option class. That comes as a serial template actually. ATO option class. I click on it. Now done. So once when you apply this ATO option class, the ATO option class. If it is a PTO, it is a pick to model. No, fine. Pick to order model. I'll now talk about it a bit later. No, fine. So I'm now applying ATO option class. Fine. Click on OK. No, fine. Why is no copy? So once when you apply this option class, they have forgotten to put the life cycle over here. No, fine. The mandatory field, and then without which, if you populate the item and then do everything, and then finally populate the life cycle, it will not work at all. It is the first activity you have to do. No, fine. The first activity you do go there and then choose one of them. No. It doesn't have any functionality as far as your supply chain is concerned. It has got everything to do only with PIM. If you have a PIM license, then the life cycle phase will come to picture. No, fine. No, fine. And then go there. And then I'll not paste it. Fine. Delete all the extra spaces. One more extra space was there. Extra spaces you delete. <clears throat> so first, whatever is missing on these two ones, what I'm going to fill it up and then put it. Otherwise, it will not work at all. You go to the associations and then let me associate it. Go to the associations. Go to actions and then go to self plan. And then I will not put on 001 entry now. Select and then click on apply and find the which is not The fourth item is now created, and then I'm going to get the final item. I'm going to let it on save and close now. Is option class item. <clears throat> Go there. So click on it. We'll now create the final item for this exercise actually. And if you want, you can even create the entire one also. And then make a check of it. Go there. So here, no, what is the uh, separate attribute will be different uh, from yeah, yeah, yeah. Attributes will be different. You have to go inside and then have a look at it. No, fine. What are the attributes? Each and every tab region you can go there. No, no, see. So ADO model, you go there. So for each and every template, the attributes are different, actually. So I'm not putting ADO model on this one. Fine. ADO model is a manufacturable model now. But unfortunately, yeah, this order management itself is not working. I'm unable to demonstrate it actually. Fine. I have a ready-made item, but I'm unable to demonstrate it because it's not working at all. I'm going to so I'll not paste this on. I will, on it. I will not take a copy of the final one. That is the ATO model desktop model. I'll take a copy of it. So here in this place, I'm taking not from that place. No, fine. In this place, I'm taking a copy. No, fine. Take a copy of it and then go there and then paste it over here. No. So click on it and then paste it over here. No. <clears throat> go there. Fine. All of that. So here you go there and then ATO model is not done. Fine. Go to the association that will be associated directly. After having applied it, first of all, these four must be filled. Otherwise, it will not work at all. I am again and again reminding you. And if nothing, if something is missing, you have to fill up first, and then afterwards do it. <clears throat> Select and click on apply and done. So we will now go on and say all the five items are created. Sir, so instead of creating items individually, there is option of create from copy that we can. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can also do that. You can try create from copy and okay. all. You can do it. You can even copy from an existing item and then do it. No, and that is the lab exists. So I have created these three items and then one option class and then one model. I will build this build actually. The remaining is the lab exists for it. You can build it anyway. So first of all, I'm not going to build the, what happens at this one of what happens your option class. Option class will be having these components. Only two builds. It's only two level build actually. So this one I'm going to create. So let me go there and then query this item and then create the build actually. So uh, I have a doubt on the licensing part, whether the bill of materials you need a license or not, whether inventory license will be okay or not. Anybody in the group who knows it not fine. For a bill of materials, do you need a license or not? I'm not sure about it. And then here, uh, there is one more thing which you have to do not fine. In case if it is a licensing one, and then uh, we had to add a security. You know, fine. Security is a must actually. Fine, because I want to set up a maintenance. <coughs> I will show you the security part. There is a security which is there. Fine, because I want it. So I'm not sure about whether they are all required or not, fine, because I've never seen a working instance, actually. Uh, it's required, Nana, because we are going to uh, work on the manufacturing side, right? It's required for the bomb okay, okay. to access the like, work area. So bomb, you need a license there. That's what you're saying, no, fine, no, So if a license is required, then this also may be required. This security also may be required. You go to the manage item class. For the item, there is no security. But for the bills, the security may be required. I'm still not very clear upon this. No, 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 no. I go there, click on it. I'm not going to manage item class and I'm going to edit it now. <clears throat> so here also, this also is not very clear. I'm going to the security. So now here, 
if you try to create because it is a vision and so everything will work now fine so uh, i will not have to add a security fine because i think what so click on plus now i will not add a security for the product data steve actually thank you no plus now i might have given i am not sure about it so group it is a product data steve <clears throat> So go that product data steward. I'm going to add it now. So it's a product data steward of Vora. You always choose Vora. Vora is the best one. And then I'll talk to Surya regarding uh, what are the functionalities of other ones actually. And Surya has got a lot of uh, customization he has done on the roles actually. But Vora has got the highest powers. Others you try to avoid. If it is not available, like in some places, Vora will not be available. Then you have to choose whatever is available. Vora is Both available. are same. Both are same. But nowadays uh, Oracle is uh, starting with this uh, Vora. Ah. Uh -huh. Who is this? Lakshmi Kant. Lakshmi Kant is saying that uh, Vora and EGA are almost same functional device, and then uh, Oracle is not insisting upon Vora. That's what I was also told when I attended this training in the headquarters of Oracle. Actually, in Renault shows, they told me that what happens? This is not a security training, and so what happens? You always add Vora. Vora, if it's available, is best, and then otherwise uh, leave it. No, why? No, why? Click on OK. No, why? They didn't have much of a time to discuss upon so add it. So having done this, what happens? You put the organization over here. Let us say I will now put some C011, some organization. I'm going to go there. So click on it. And then at this stage, what you have to do is you have to go on and save. And click on save. And then we have to provide this is called function security for the particular one. And then we have to give data security also. The data security you add at the bottom is the data security. This is we have given the function security and then go there. Go Yeah, we are doing it for zero zero one, right? But no, for just for understanding purposes, I am doing. No, fine. Zero zero oh. one is all inbuilt actually. Fine. Zero zero okay, one okay. inbuilt. No need at all. And this again, I am not sure whether you need it in the field or not. Fine. Again, the licensing part as well as the security part, I am not sure about it. So you learn it, and then if required, you have to do it. That's all I am saying. Because I have not seen any manufacturing implementation. Fine. So we have done someone, and then nowhere the manufacturing was installed. So I have not seen it practically in the field actually. So these are the ones which you have to think about now. And if it is not there, you have to add it. If you are unable to create a structure, then it will not. Mm -hmm. That the what is the question? Sir? Question is whether no, we need this function security and data security for the structures or not for the bill of materials. That is the question. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't. Yes, know. Nana, we need. We require that security. Oh, oh, oh! You need the required. Surya is saying that we need the security. Fine. This is called the function security. And then uh, what happens? You go there. Whereas for the item, it is not required. For the structures, Surya says it is required. For the bill of materials, it is required. That is what Surya says. Thank you. You are adding this in the org level. So what is this? Uh, this org is now eligible for creating the bill of materials. Actually. Okay. Nana sir, Nana sir, will it be like this? Uh, like uh, logically speaking, mm -hmm. the person who is buying only the inventory module, it is also allowed to use the. Bill of materials, then the subscription charges will not be counted. So oh, probably, oh, I think oh, this uh, licensing should be, the security should be enabled. I mean, this is my assumption, not tested. Okay, maybe, maybe I'm not sure about it. Fine. So think about it. If you are not able to create a structure, it will not throw an error. When you want to create a bill of material structures, it will not throw an error. Uh, and then in that case, what happens? You have to add it. That is what one of my students told me. Fine. If it is throwing an error, please create another fine. <laughs> I was not very sure about it. Fine. What is this product data? It will add, uh, let me add one more point. It will add to create a structure, Nana. But if you are going to for a manufacturing, right? It will, oh, it's it not allowed. Oh, 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 yes. So he is allowed to create a structure. Function security and data security. First of all, let me complete this part now. Fine. I have added a function security over here now. Fine. Go that. Click on function security. Are we are going to add a data security. And go that. Click on it. And then I am going to add a data security. Go to actions and then go to select NAT. Go to actions and select NAT. So here we need mainly for what happens if you click on search now. It will find a lot of things which are available. So for creating a structure, fine. There will be some data security which will be required actually. So what we normally do is we will select everything now. We will select everything. So we will go there. In the top by the action side, what I mean, there will be a one a square box is there. If you click on it, all of them will be selected. All of them will be selected. Click on apply and then click on OK. By which what I mean, we are now given data security fully for this particular org. The org is now having function security as well as data security. Fine. Function security is like a passport and then this is like a visa. Fine. So only when you have both, you'll we'll be able to do it. Now, fine, go ahead. So uh, we give a data access. Data access is different from function security and data security. When you customize a role, this function security and data security will be coming. Fine, go ahead. Again, I'm not sure about whether this is required for a bill of materials or not. Fine, like Venkata, Venkata is also giving some suggestion. So I am only teaching about how to do it now. Fine, whether we have to do it or not is a field decision for you because I have not seen a manufacturing implementation actually. That's it. Fine, go ahead. Click on save and close. So the function security and data security. Anybody has got any doubts? Good. You can now see the product data steward coming for your org also in the bottom. Fine, data security has been given. 
So whether to do it or not in the field, you make a decision. So click on save and close. This is one thing which I'm not aware of. It. Now let us go there and then create a structure for this one. So the first bill of material I'm going to create is for, for the option class. I'm going to have these two, a component, these three components, which are going to be this is a parent and this is another component. I'm going to go there. I'm going to click on the home icon and then go there. Uh, Nana, we know the uh, sorry. Uh, so that uh, products data steward it is a role, right, Nana? Which should yeah, be a role, role. But uh, okay. there it is not a role actually. Even if you are not given a role, it will come itself. Okay. okay. Even if okay. you are not given the role, it will come. Previously, what happens in release nine? Uh, yeah. We don't need a role at all for creating an item. Later on, they added the role. Only when you add the role, you will be able to what happens? They create an item. And then add a role and then give a data access. Later on, what happens? They have removed even the security. Function security and data security have been removed for the item actually. But uh, for the bill, I'm not very sure about it. Since we are all working on the visions one now, fine. I'm not very sure about it. <clears throat> okay, so have a look. Right. So the modifications are happening time and again. So you have to fit yourself to the latest ones. <clears throat> so go there. I will not go to the product management and go to the product management. So I will now create a structure. Bill of material, I'm going to create now. I'm going to create a bill. Sir, you, uh, Nana, sir. Yeah, tell me. Yeah, this is Sanjay. <clears throat> You are telling that this function security and data security is removed altogether. Only for item. Only for item it has been removed. But for structures, huh. I am not sure about it. But in, in our instance, if okay. I do not add uh, this security, I am not able to create item for the particular so, item. Yeah, class. maybe uh, they may not have applied the patch actually. Based upon the field interaction, what they have done is uh, they have removed this from the future versions. You work on uh, 21B or uh, something like that, what happens? You won't be requiring it all. 21C. You're working on 21C and then you require it for item. Okay, I'll, yeah. I, I'll, check, the, I'll check the version once. People may be doing it. People may be doing it uh, without knowing it actually because they were habituated to creating the function security and data security, but it is not required actually nowadays. See, I have not given it. When I was creating it, I have not given it. It was working cool. Right? Uh, uh, even for my own org, I'm saying, because I applied that uh, SCM uh, role, SCM OE role, but my org is not covered under the SCM role, but it was working coolly. It was uh, in so between. In that Last case, year, they have added it. I removed in it. that case, hmm. I have a user. Yeah. The user is created just as an employee role, no other role, no product data steward role. Okay. Should, will he be able to uh, check so, the no, items? Product data steward is required. You need a product data steward for item. And again, all these things are case to case basis, and then they are <coughs> Oracle is changing the content. You see what is working. That there. means user level, user level, you have to give the role. Yeah. User level, you have to give the role. But there is no security required. Data access is not required for product data CV. And then even the function security and data security is also required, not for required. Okay, so for then, the then I will create a new user. I will create a new user, make him employee and data product data steward. And then try Only. to item. Yeah. And you then try to, to, yeah. Just, you'll be able to get an item. Go and make a check of it. This, this. Yeah, I'm going to check this. Okay. I will only give these two roles to yeah. the new user and I will check if he <laughs> to check the item. Okay. One second. I'll have water. Sanjay, I think you, we are, uh, you have the data governance and uh, data policies. Oh, that also you data governance and data consolidation is also cost. It is enable, uh, the item security is needed. If it is not enabled, it's not. So, so these, are these are enabled. These are enabled. Exactly. These are enabled. Data governance, enabled. Once again, data governance and data consolidation are enabled, then I, this function security and data security are required. Fine, that is the concept of Oracle. So okay, these know. are enabled. Yeah, These yeah. are enabled, I know. These are enabled in my instance. If you, they are enabled, then you need it. <clears throat> because it's under coming under PIM license actually. Your customer might have bought a PIM license, and so for a PIM license, the function security and data security are required. <clears throat> okay, fine. that's what. Is. So data you, governance and data consolidation. If you remove it, then it'll allow you. Now let us go there and then query this now. Fine, go there. So A0502. There's a A0502. I'm going to query this item. Fine, go there. Go there. No, 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 no. Been assigned to the child or not. Let us open up in the master. Now, fine. The top is a master, the bottom is a child. Let me open it up. And then I'm going to get a structure. I'm going to get a bill, actually. Click on I'm not going to get it. I'm going to go to the structures now. Right? Click on the structures. I'm going to get the structure. <clears throat> so click on structure and then go to actions and then go to what? Create. I'm not going to get it. So structures are like what happens. Let us say we have got four organizations in Delhi, Bombay, and then Calcutta and Madras. And then Delhi is a master. The Delhi location is a master. And then it is customary to create all the bills on the master, actually. It is customary to create. But Oracle doesn't say that now. But because let us say I have a design and drawing department in Nagpur. So the Nagpur organization is responsible for creating all the bills. So in which case, 
what happens uh, the the bills will be created in nagpur and not in the master but oracle strongly says that why don't you create everything in master right all the bills right that becomes easy actually because if you create in the master uh, the uh, there are so many other aspects are involved but uh, it all depends upon the client's uh, discretion he says my master location is in delhi and then my ch child location which is there in nagpur is responsible for creating all the bills then in that case you have to only follow whatever client says actually so what i'm going to do is i am now creating in the master with the as per the oracle recommendation the field you design i am going to call i am not creating a bill bills are created nowhere except the on the design and drawing department remember make it as primary and then go there i will not put a description as primary <clears throat> go there so click on apply and add details click on apply and add details i am going to click on apply and add details <clears throat> at this stage it will not check everything fine if you have a problem it will not come to the screen at all fine in your instance just see fine it will not come to the screen at all it will not throw an error that your structure cannot be created now i am going to add all these three components now fine a04 starting on 9 then and done so i'll not go there so click on actions and i'm going to select that a04 <clears throat> it is a04 i will not add a04 and then query on this one. i'm going to query So we have what the nine, ten, and eleven. We have added only three. In reality, what happens? You would have added everything now. Fine. Okay. If you want to test everything, you would have added everything. So I added only. I only created three components. Fine. All of them. With the control, uh, select the last, last one, and then select next, and then select next. So all the three things are selected. Fine. Click on apply. Fine. Click on apply. <clears throat> Or uh, click on apply, and then click on OK. So these three components are now selected. now we have to enable the what's called if you go on and see the attribute will not be available for us to edit if i go that one you go to the view and then add a, a component order management not the order management actually there is one more order management will be available now in the top when order management don't enable this one this is not required for a bill actually this is required component order management is required add this column view component order management or call it on so once when you add it what happens you can now see this the configuration so here the options and mutually exclusive is very very complex actually fine there is one optional and then mutually exclusive this we have to set it up we have to set up this optional and mutually exclusive as we said go there so click on it so the 8 gb ram is an option fine it is a standard component and is an option fine it is called a competing option actually so we had to enable the option so select this one and go to it so now select the first one 8 gb ram please mute your mics now go to it and then go there i will now go and click on edit So click on it. Select the first line. Go there. Go down. Go down. Go down. And then here, optional. Everybody. And remember, mutually exclusive is not applicable for a standard component. Please note it down. <clears throat> mutually exclusive is not applicable for a standard component. It is applicable only for models and option classes, and not for the standard component. Optional is enabled. Click on it. So we are we are enabling optional. That means what? It is a competing option for the customer. Actually, it is a competing option for the customer. Click on it. Option is enabled. So similarly, the second item was also I'm going to edit. I'm going to click on edit. I'm going to make it. Now. And remember, standard components mutually exclusive is not possible at all. Only optional is possible. The mutual exclusive is possible only for what your uh, models and option classes only. So now these two have become a competing component for the customer. Now. Fine. These two have become a competing component, customer for the customer. 8 GB and then 16 GB. Yeah. So they are competing. How they are going to compete? We are going to design at the next level actually. And then this is a free item. So the one year free item, fine. This is called included item. So here, if you go on and see, fine. If you go there and then click on edit, and if you are not selecting the option, fine. It means what? It is a free item for the customer actually. If option is not enabled, what happens? It is not a competing component. It is a free item for the customer actually. The free item, fine. Go there. Now bill is ready. My bill is ready. You can now see this one. So we have enabled the option for the first two, and then the optional the means that uh, the customer can select either one of these. Yes, exactly. Okay. It is a competing okay. option. is a competing option how it is going to compete we are going to see in the next level actually how it is going to compete they are all competing components how they are competing for the customer selection we are going to see in the next level and remember whatever we mark on a bill they are for the lower level actually if you go on and see we are now marking what happens we are now going uh, then uh, marking on this option class now a0502 so whatever i mark on this bill they are for the lower level components only and not for the same level there are, we have 0502 0503 0504 0, and then 0505 fine they are all same level uh, what happens the components of a parent bill now fine so whatever i mark on this place on this bill they are only for the lower levels now on this a0502 bill 
I am now marking something. So they are for the lower level components. The options, these options in mutual exclusive are for the lower level components and not for the same level. We have four components at the same level. They are not for this level at all. So all the mar marking are for the lower level of the bill actually. <coughs> Child level, you mean? Child level, not child level. Uh, we can say parent and child, parent and component level. Component level. <laughs> it is applicable for the components only and not for the parent levels. <clears throat> Got it, now, friend? So click on it. Click on done. It is not. How these how these standard items are added to the op option class? Yeah, yeah. Because this is you can see it is a mandatory option class. Customer has to use a 8 GB RAM or a 16 GB RAM. Only one of them he has to choose now. Uh, no, sir. So you have how when you select this. Um, uh, Optional class item. How these three items, standard items, are added to that option? No, just now only added. Please watch the video again now. Okay. You are not seeing it properly. Fine. If you watch the video, I have told you about how to add these three components now. Fine. I have it, sir. actions and then I did it. Now. Okay. Okay. Tell me. Yeah. Nana, sir, uh, what is this blue circle just uh, left on side of? Says what line. item structure actually? Just name and Okay. So click on done now. Fine. Now the bill at the uh, what I'm as option class is now complete. Fine. Click on done. Now once when you create a bill at one of the organization, the other orgs has to only common. We had only common it. So here what happens? We had only common. Here again, if you go on and see this primary, fine. It becomes editable actually. If you go there, click on it. The editable icon becomes. We can very well edit any of the what happens? The functionalities basically. But that is not possible on a child level. Child level, the editing is not possible because we are going to common it. So once when you common the bill, whatever is now de designed at the design and manufacturing department, they will be followed by the child. Actually, child cannot modify. So go that one. There is no done. So you have a cancel. And then we will now go to the child now. So the bill is now created in the master. You go there. So click on save and close, and then come out of it. Save and close. There is no done. But how about the I mean bill setup in uh, Fusion? It is exactly same like what we have in a few EVs also. EVs and Fusion are almost same. But only thing so is we have a task for it, separate task for it. Huh? We have a separate task for it. No, we are going to do it now. I'm not going to get the bill now. I'm not going to get the bill. I go there. So in 000, I made the bill, and then 001, I'm going to get the bill. Fine, click on it now. I'm not get the bill in this place. So click on it, open it up. And then here, what happens? We go to the structures, there will not be any bill at all. When you assign the item, item will be assigned. But when you create a bill, Bill will not be assigned to the child or remember. Bill has to be created. Bill has to be created. Fine. I, items will be assigned, but bills cannot be assigned actually. Bills has to be created. I know that. What are the structures? And then the non-any will and go to the actions. And then it is always customary to create from common actually. We have a bill in a 000, zero. So from there I'm going to it. If you are design and uh, what happens, your design and drawing department or your uh, What's called your other departments are available in Nagpur. Let's say 006. You'll be creating all the bills in 006, and then you'll be <coughs> commoning it to all of the childs. Right. When you common it in the common dog, we cannot modify anything at all. So the main de department only will be doing it. We have a, a facility to even copy it. When you copy it, we can modify. When you do a commoning, we cannot modify. That is how the organization will now ask for. Right. If at all they, the the customer says that I want to modify the bill also in the child, then you have to go for a copy and not for commoning it. Commoning will not allow you at all. So click on create my level class. Go there. Click on it. I will now put my master organization over here. It is O P E R E A T I O N S. It is capital O. Remember, you have to have to do it. So what is my item? My item is what A zero five zero two. A zero five. If you give a tap, there is only one uh, bill available. There, if I give a tap, it is becoming automatic. The moment I give a OK, the system will now perform an item import. No, item import will be performed. This no, click on OK. No, item import will be performed. It will be importing it. So it will import the item from the uh, main one fine, where we are created, and then from that it will be commoning it actually. Now go to space, right click on the duplicate. We'll know how to look at it. So this is not running. Now, no, sir, if you make any changes again, into yeah, your the changes will be getting automatically reflected on the child. No need to write the import at all. Once we need it, to run the common again, it will be getting reflected automatically in the common dogs. Nothing to do at all. Item import is running. So once when this is completed, what happens? Sir? The bill will be available on the child. The bill will be available on the child. And you have to wait for this to complete now. When you make a change in the master, nothing to be done on the child. I am now speaking a lot. Please take a notes of it now. I think Karthik Japan will be making a note of it now. So it triggers an item import when you common it. 
and nana these items should be present in child or right where where we are talking yes, can, can, can. item has to be present in both arms basically item so, uh, how this how this program is spawned can you repeat once again sir once when you give a okay it automatically comes the in the item now when you created the item and structure then you submitted on okay you see and i, I gave only okay after okay. i populated my the master of operations and then i populated my item and then i give okay the child the import automatically triggers actually okay will that happen if you change any any attribute suppose any small attribute you have changed no only for first the first time only for the first time it will not trigger and then whenever you make any change in the master that gets automatically reflected on the child no need to run anything at all it will be getting but and the program will not spawn at that time i don't think so i have not ever checked it you make a check oh, we should we will check we will check we will check you make a check no uh, so another uh, thing another thing rana sir rana sir this uh, structure tab that you are using this is only for discrete manufacturing process no. manufacturing process manufacturing is also similar i am to learn it fine that's why what happened i am unable to connect it no 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 i am not asking question about process manufacturing i am just telling this much can we say that this same structure is used for process manufacturing also only this this sentence no idea fine otherwise i go through it i cannot do it because uh, in my project people are saying that this structure is not used in process manufacturing I am I am in big See, doubt. Uh, ideally speaking, uh, an assembled order might not be applicable for a process footprint. No, I am not talking about assembled to order. I am talking in general. In general, okay. structure, simple structure. Oh, no idea at all. Fine, I am not able to. I have not yet gone through it because the documentation is really very cumbersome. I am not even understand. I want somebody like me to teach, but there is nobody in the market to teach these things. Oh, fine, the biggest problem. I only have to learn on my own. Oh, fine, finding it very difficult to understand. So go there, drop it out. I will not give a save and close now. Fine. After having done this, what happens? I am going to give a save and close now. Give a save and close on the child or go there. Click on it. And then click on make a search again. Click on search again. And then once when it is searched, what happens? You go there and then click on it. You can now see the bill available there. Okay. So go to the structures now. Fine. Go there. Click on. You will now see the structure. Go. Click on the primary. You can now see the structure. The structure will be available here. And then if you go and then select any of the components, the edit icon will not be possible at all. So once when you make a change, whether again the data import will be triggered or not, I'm not very sure. But it, make a change and then see the data import is triggered, getting triggered or not. So the child is not possible at all. It gets common. The concept is same in EBS and Fusion actually. You know, uh, Sanjoy uh, sir, Nara sir. Yeah, tell me. Yeah, he was asking na like uh, about EBS. I know like process manufacturing and. Uh, uh -huh. This discrete one, na like uh, in process actually there there was recipe, uh -huh. not this bomb and all. They they don't use. They use uh, some recipe and uh, that recipe is used to like uh, create the final item. Mm -hmm. So here I don't know what exactly is being. Yeah, here I also don't know. And, and, and just yes, sir. Actually, recipes uh, are so, attached to a different different formulas and routing, so that that works. That formula concept is same. It's like in bomb and discrete. Uh, the 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 formula is in formula is there, but recipe and then uh, the other ones. Or you or you can you comment on this now? Is uh, somebody is talking about a recipe in Ebus, whether it is there in Fusion or not? Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, that one I am not aware in Fusion, but in EPS there is a formula in compare to this. Yeah, yeah, right, right, and uh, yeah, correct. Okay. Sir, 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 to the best of my knowledge, uh, it has not come up to 21B because some of the US customers whom we are talking, they have, they have deferred the cloud migration because of this. The footprint is not ready. Oh, oh, oh. so only uh, this, what's called your uh, disk process manufacturing is in halfway through, I think. Maybe in uh, yes. 20 or 21D, it will not take a good shape actually. Probably we can expect by uh, last quarter or uh, the next year, first quarter. Let go there, and then we will not create what next one. We will not create. So, and Dana sir, uh, Dana sir, Dana sir, for uh, for creating the bomb, do we have to always create manually, or uh, do we have some sheets also? Maybe I am not sure about whether you can import it through FBD or not. Anybody can comment it. Yes, it is available, Rana. We can do it. We can do. Oh. We can, uh, creating structure is through FBD is possible. So, so Nana sir, uh, this couple, uh, this item, oh. model item is created. So that means it is exploded uh, before import or like oh, what happened? Sorry, no, no idea at all. Fine. Oh. Is, uh, oh. I don't know whether uh, you, you exploding and other things. Are no, right. no, no. I'm going. I'm not putting ADO model. So this item, I will not take a copy of the item. I will not make a query on this. Item. 
Oh, sorry, I'm not, I'm not, I should not create it actually. I'm, not making, sorry, I'm sorry, I should not create it. I had to query it actually. It's already an item is available. Fine, go, to, you know, go to the browse items and then query. Go to the browse items. So, so Nana, sir, uh, this is the structure, right? So, we, we could see the primary uh, that, right? So, also we can create the secondary, something like that. The why is it yeah, primary? Primary, it is only a name which has been given as a primary. You can even okay. have a list of values. Uh, there is a lookup actually. With that lookup, I can make a primary or whatever names you want. And there are plenty of things. Okay, okay. They're just names. It doesn't have any real. You can create your own name also, right? Rather than primary, you can create. So click on search now. What happened? Have I not created the uh, item at all? A zero five zero one is not created. No, sir, you are not created. The space. Oh God, I have not created the item. Item itself. Oh, I think. Uh, can you try once more? I think there is a space. It's it's created, no, no. Oh, there is a space. Ah, yeah, there is a space here. <laughs> there is extra space. That is not coming. So let me delete everything and then I will not have only A0501. There's extra space when I copied it. It's not coming. Come on, A0501 is not visible at all. Come on, what happened? Again, we have a space. Again, gap is there. Oh, again, gap is there. <laughs> extra space is there. Fine, now it's coming. Okay, fine. Extra space is there. Please remove those extra spaces and do it. Go there, click on it. I will not go and open it up. Open the master and then let us now create the bill lecture. So go to the space. Go to the structures now. Go to structures and the actions, and then go to create. When you create, what happens is not dropping your list of values, they're all manually populated actually, and you can put it in the position. Put on primary. So click on apply and add details. So here I'm having only one component now, Frank, that you want because I have not created the other ones. These posts have not been created only for the purpose of a demonstration. I'm not doing it. And why A0502 only is all there. I do it. A0502. <coughs> So it's a A0502 entry now. Select it and then click on what happens. Apply and then click on OK. Click on apply and click on OK. They don't have. So you go there and then go to view and then go to the component order management enable it now. Find component order management. <laughs> component order management enable it. So now it will not show you these things also. These things also. Options. Now, since it is an option class, both are applicable now. Mutual class and option both are applicable. And then they work on the lower level. No? Whatever you set up on this bill, you know, this bill of what happens, your desktop model, they work on the lower level. The options in mutual class will be working on the lower level of uh, lower level components only and not for the same level actually. It is for the lower level. I will not go on the select it. So go to this place. I will not go to edit. Here I will not go to the option mutual class. Now, what I say is this is basically a mandatory option class. That means what? Customer has to choose either 8 GB or 16 GB. It's a must structure. So if it is a mandatory option class, remove the tick mark. It becomes a mandatory option class. If you remove the tick mark, it is a mandatory option class. Mutually exclusive, it is enabled. <coughs> you can choose only one now. <coughs> that means what? One and only one is a combination. And if you put a tick mark, this means what? One and only one you can choose now. I mean, amongst the competing components. So these are the two competing options where option is enabled. So amongst these two, he has to choose only one. The final item will not be coming to the customer for configuration at all. Customer cannot choose his one year warranty at all. This is included. The moment he chooses one, this gets included for manufacturing area and not on the sales order area. Not on the sales order. So the manufacturing team will be informed that whatever you embed along with this one when you're manufacturing the desktop model. So that will be an included. That will be sent only to the manufacturing and not to this place at all. What I compared. So if it is what? If it is no and then yes, it means what? One and only one. The other ones, I am not creating it. I will just tell you what exactly is. If OP is no and the ME is no, <coughs> it means what? It is a OP is no means what? If you are not enabling it, what happens? It becomes OP is no, no. If OP is no and then ME is no, that means what? You can choose one or any. That means what? You can choose this, 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 everything also. I know here, I have given all three as option classes just to demonstrate you. So if it is OP is no, ME is no, he has to choose at least one. At least one, and then you can choose any number of components. You can choose a two-year warranty, UPS, as well as the exclusion test, whatever it is. Everything can be chosen. That is the meaning of OP, no, ME, no. It is called one or any. And whatever we are defining out in this place, it is only applicable for the lower level and not for the same level, actually. This is the same level. It is not applicable for the same level, but for the lower level only. The third one is what? OP is yes, and then ME is yes. OP is yes, and then ME is yes. That means what? It is optionally optional. This option class is optionally optional. That means what? He may choose, he may not also choose. Fine. And then ME is yes, no, no. maximum one only he can choose. No. He can choose either a camera of 720p or a 1080p camera. 
only one of them will be done. This is a, a, the mic is a included dimension. So he has to choose either a 720p or a, a, a 1080p only. So it is called zero or one. He may even go without choosing a camera also. He may even go without choosing a camera. Fine. This is called zero or one. And the final one is what? Zero or any. <clears throat> zero or any. That means what? OP is yes and then ME is no. OP is yes means what? It is optionally optional. So he may even choose a graphic card. He may use a joystick. And then if you choose any one of them, what happens? The mouse pad is included. When any one of the apps is selected, the included component will be coming. If he is choosing nothing, the included component will not be coming at all. <clears throat> so here it is what's called option. Option just means what? It is optionally optional. It means no means what? You can choose any. This is called zero or any. Have you all understood one and only one? One or any? Zero or one or zero or any? We are setting it up at the option class level and then they are applicable for the lower level components, remember. It's a very tough one. And then I try to create it and see, fine. I always say that what happens, I always create everything. No, but uh, one and first one and last one is similar kind. No, it's one and only one. You can choose only one. He has to choose one. And then that is the, that is the only one he has to choose. Here, zero or any. He may choose a graphic card. He may choose a joystick or he may choose nothing also. Here, nothing is not possible. The first and last. The first one, nothing is not possible. Okay. Got it now here. So these are the four combinations of OP and ME. This is the same like EBIS now, right? There is no change at all. As far as EBIS and ME, no change at all. Yeah. So good, good presentation, Nana, sir. Excellent. This uh, is this slow. Try to create and then say, have a look at it now, fine. That will be uh, giving a more explanation. Now, I'm going to one. First one. Uh, there's three standard item. One year wa warranty is a free item, right? Uh, so is yeah, that. Warranty is a free item. So uh, there, there won't be any uh, options for it. Why? It <coughs> will not be having an option to choose actually. Once when he chooses, it will be sent to manufacturing to include this uh, free item into the kit actually, into the, into the laptop itself. So here there is nothing to actually bid it and then what happens, it will be given on his AR bill actually. That one year warranty is now given as a free. So uh, Nana, sir, uh, the, the first option, right? The first one, uh, one or only one, right? Uh, so instead of this one, right, uh, can we put it directly in the bomb instead of, you know, because anyway, we have to choose. Okay, okay, okay. depends on uh, 8 GB or 16 GB, we have to choose any one of the things. That is the option we are providing. Like one and only one, yeah, do like this one. Okay, okay. Got Everything may be asking either this or this or this or this for every bill. So according. So none of third one uh, didn't get it, a zero or one. That means what? The customer may buy a camera for his desktop. He may not also buy a camera. If he buys, he has to buy only what? Either 720p camera or 1080p camera. Both the cameras he cannot buy. We cannot okay. buy cameras. Okay. So that is what is called OP is yes and ME is yes. ME is yes means what? Maximum of one only. <coughs> the first and third, maximum of one only is possible. Got it now, fine. So I'm not okay. configuring only this level now, fine, or the ADO model, fine, for that. So OP is equal to no, and then ME is equal to yes now. And that is what I'm configuring. Hope he's going to know and then he means this. Fine. You create everything and then have a look at it. Fine. That will be giving a good idea. Fine. How exactly they are functioning. It. Go there. Click on that. That's it. Fine. Go there. And then give a save and close by which the bill at the top level is created. Fine. Go there. And for the top level item, there is no OP and ME at all. For this one, there is no, because there is no higher level bill at all. Fine. So whatever we design is only for the lower levels. <clears throat> it has got four components. The, the OP and ME, we are doing it are only for the, and this bill you're doing it, is only for the lower level components. <coughs> they are not for the <coughs> same level actually. <coughs> and for the first one, it is always OP is equal to no, ME is equal to no, remember. First level, it is always OP is equal to no, ME is equal to no, fine, for the first level. Done it, now fine, go there. Now we go there and then make a search on this now, and click on search, and then go there, click on it, and then click on the bottom now. So here, I'm going to go and then, common the structure actually, for the, go to the structures, and then here, go to the actions, and then, Create from common. If I click on create from common, I'm going to create from common. So again, operations fine. A capital O, remember. And remember, many companies may not have the master org as your design and drawing department. They may have a different. Then in the case, what happens? You have to create every item on the NACPUR organization and then common it from NACPUR to this place now. So it's A0501. A0501 and then give a tap. They give a tap, what happens? It'll be coming. So item import will be again happening now. Click on OK. Item import will be happening. When you give a okay, Sanjay, item import happens. <coughs> <coughs> Click on it. 
and then monitor it down. <coughs> so once you discover, if you can even give a save and close even before item import completes, it doesn't matter. It will be doing automatically. So once when it is common, the bottom level ones you cannot modify at all. I'm now speaking a lot. Actually, fine. Please, please take a note. I think uh, Japan Karthik will not take a note of each and everything, and then I will not. He will not give it me his document actually. <coughs> and again, on the manage item class, whether the function security and data security is required for a bills, I am not sure about it. And then something else also on the import side, I am not very clear about this and how you are going to import it, whether uh, the bomb gets exploded or not. There is a question, and which also I am not sure about it. Now, in the meantime, what happens? You go there. I will not duplicate it. We will have to give the price for the model and option classes. You go to the order management. Since we are given the O to C role, everything will be available here. Now, if I click on the pricing administration, order management, and then go to the pricing administration. And then here, I'm going to give the price for the model and option classes. So you know, go there, click on it. And then you go to the manage price list. And the task list, you go there, manage price list. And then there is one thing which is used by Vision, actually. Click on it. we be going on manage prices. Corporate, corp, and then entry now. And that is used by Vision, actually. Vision is using this. Go there, click on it. And then it's called corporate segment price list. You click on this corporate segment list. And then here everything is having a each e capitally small e as a one. So this is what I go there. So if you go to the so what's called overview, I go there. You can now see it is e and everything is e actually. So we have already given a price for the all items. So you go to the items. I go there. Go to the all items here. And then line type is by. And then it is not very capitally small e. If it is not there, you have to add it now. I'll tell you about how to add it now. So click on each. There is a price fine for each as what one dollar. I'll tell you about how to add it. And then for this each is applicable only for standard items and not for models and option classes. Remember, the price is only for uh, standard items and not for models, models and options. Now we have to add. No, fine, go to the item and then let us know add what was the component level pricing. So click on plus. No, fine, go there. So go there. I will now populate the item. The first item is what eighty A zero five zero one is the one. Fine, go there. So A0501 and then give a tab. Do not copy and paste because there is a space problem there. Click on it. So after having, after given a plus, put the item over here, click on create charge. I'm not going to give the models prices 100 US dollars. 100 US dollars. We can even allow it to manually override also. We can even allow a manual adjustment. We can even give a discount down. So click on it and then go there and then you know, put the place there. That's it. So the price of model is now given now. Give a save. Let's see. There is no doubt. We will now add one more item. If I click on plus now. Let me add one more item for the option classes. Option classes will normally be having a zero price actually. Zero A zero five zero two and go that one. Option class will be having a zero five zero five zero two. And then click on create charge. Fine. Go that A zero five. Oh, option classes cannot have a price. I forgot. No. Option classes cannot have a price, and so you cannot give a price at all. And option classes cannot have a price at all. Only models can have a price. Fine. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. Click on delete. But the order management uh, will look at the uh, uh, line price, right, sir? So otherwise, it will fail that. Uh, we'll give you the line price. <coughs> For model, I, exclusively give. Otherwise, what happens? No price will be popular. Price will be failing, actually. If you don't give a price for the model, it will fail. You have to give at least zero price or 100 dollars. I will not tell you about the zero also. So there are two ways of doing it: one by zero dollars or by exact price. There are two ways of option. Doing it. Yeah, option classes also we have to give it to no, right. No, no, possible. Option classes okay. pricing is possible. Pricing is not possible for the option classes. Sir, sir why why we are giving a price for the models, sir? I will, I will come to that. I will come to that. Sir, click on save and close. We are giving the price for the model. There are two ways of sales. So it is not done now. So we are given the price for the model and then this thing. Now we'll now go on and test it on a sales order. I'm going to click on home icon. And then I'm going to test it on the sales order. So go to the order management and then go to the order management. And then we are going to test it on the sales order. Click on order management. I'm not going to test it on order management. So I will now go and then click on create order. Order management, order management. First of all, populate the business unit over here. I'll go there and then populate the business unit over here. So US one business unit. <clears throat> and then put well, the ready-made customer, COMP. If you put COMP, computer services and that is a ready-made customer. Use this customer. You have a ready-made customer, which is fully configured in Vision Actual. Go there and then populate your model. The model is what A0501. 
0.8051. Do not take a copy from the Excel sheet. Excel sheet has got extra spaces. Right? You put like this. No, fine. So you cannot be able to see the hundred dollars price actually. <coughs> we'll now click on the configure and add. If I click on the configure and add. We are going to configure it. Click on configuration. Now what happens? You can now see this is coming as what? Two options are available here. So here he has got two options. Fine, go there. So he has in the ATO model has got two options now. Fine, go there. So uh, below this, there is a mandatory option class is coming below which you have got two components now. Fine. So customer has to choose at least one now. He get, there is a this comes as a radio button now. This comes as a radio button. Remember. This comes as a radio button. If he says none, the system will automatically choose the first component because it's a mandatory one. <coughs> the customer is choosing none. Uh, that means what he is not desired. He don't want to know. He don't know whether to choose 8 GB or 16 GB. He is saying none. The system automatically chooses the first item in this case, and then populate. And you can see each every component, the standard component, we are given a price. Fine. So there are two ways of billing you when know, the customer. Is. So the price will be coming as because each is now all the standard components are having all items are having a price of one. So there is no coming. So since he is unable to decide, he is only saying now the system automatically chooses the 8 GB RAM and click on finish now. Right? The configuration is now completed. So it will now be what it will be creating this. One. You can now see in the bottom, this is now selected. Right? So click on the more on this now. Right? Click on the more, it will now show you including the prices below. So click on the more. What happens? You now see. The model's price is one. The component's price is one now. The option class will not have any price at all. So there are two ways of pricing. You will now say, my desktop, whatever you buy, whatever you buy on this now, fine, go that click on it. In this place, if you go there, you may be buying whatever the two-year warranty, camera, joystick, etc., etc. Whatever you choose, I am now giving you hundred dollars as a price. Hundred dollars a price. In which case, what you will do is you will now have all all components as a price at zero, because the air will now sum it up. All components will have a price of zero, or if you're having lakhs and lakhs of items, whatever is there in this place, you will not give up zero price explicitly. Item wise, you will not give a zero price. Fine. If you're having lakhs and lakhs of items, you cannot give a zero price. And so, what happens? You will not give this. So, you will not give this price as zero. You have to configure everything as zero. Or if you have a generic but, giving zero, you can very well modify also. So, Nana, sir. This all the individual uh, components, right? For example, the 8 GB, 16 GB, uh, right? So these these are we have to map the uh, uh, some price, right? Because ultimately we are sending to the customer location, so we have to charge. Uh, we have to please, 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 please. set up the price. Hello, are you hearing me? Please, please, please. I am not telling you the first way of sales. No, you are now giving a constant price for whatever he chooses. Fine. For which only I am explaining it. Fine. Yeah, giving a constant price. In which case, what happens? We have to give the all item price as zero, or the individual components has to be made as zero. In which case, what happens? This only will be built. This is one way of selling. The other way is what? I will now make the model as zero price. Model as zero price, and then give the price of each and every component. Whatever he chooses, that will be rolled up to the top, actually. That is the second way of pricing. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Make the model as zero, and then I'll give all the components price. Individual prices you give in the price list. So it, it gets uh, rolled up and uh, calculated automatically. Yeah, will when we... the rolled up price to him now. <laughs> now in this case, it will here will ask him to pay one not one now. Right. So you have to decide which way you want to sell it. Accordingly, you have to give the prices. And then you want to give a discount now. Fine, go click on it. You know, give asking for a discount. Fine, go click on it. You know, go there. And then there will be a edit account. Fine, click on it. Will now go and then apply a discount. Actually. Discount as a percentage or as an amount or as a markup. All these things are available. Discount percentage, I'll not give a 10 percent discount. So, 10 percent discount on one not one to be given off. The reason <coughs> it's what's called sales negotiation. And then click on that. So, now the manual adjustment is coming up. And remember, the discount is for all the components put together, not for the individual components. Actually, all the components put together is not coming up. That is what discount. If you give on more, wrong, and that one more is not coming up. Right? So it is for the complete uh, everywhere the ten percent discount is getting applied. Only, only here it is coming. Okay. Oh, one not two one it is applied and not on the individual components is not showing anything at all. Hmm. Now click on done now, and then click on save by which the sales order gets saved. Now I cannot progress it because it is totally spoiled here. Now. I cannot progress it. Through submit now nine seven three nine nine. Thank you for submitting. Land up an error actually. 
we had to give the warehouses also fine we had to give the warehouses also i forgot right so which warehouse you are going to split there is a 001 not fine i had to give a uh, give warehouse also that area is totally so so uh, nana sir this logic same way works in the eps as well the rolled up cost rolled up price and all that is the same way it works got an idea the eps uh, training some 10 years back here <laughs> Got it. <laughs> okay. No problem. No problem. Okay. So if you run, there's no processing. No, thank you. So if there's no processing, and then if you go to the actions and then go to view, switch to fulfillment view, <clears throat> the scheduling itself is going to fail now, because they have customized the do here. Somebody has a, the technical team, whatever they have customized the do. Go there. I am unable to remove the do at all. Fine, go there. Yeah, default do has to fire. So the default do is not firing. A yeah, custom do is firing through uh, business rules or uh, there are what's called your uh, you have extensions and then pre and post transformation rules. Somebody has customized it. And I am unable to remove it at all. In all the instances, they have done it. So because of which the scheduling itself fails actually. Create scheduling is failing. I tried my level best, but since I don't know technical, I am unable to uh, understand where, where exactly they have done. And so, what happens is not progressing in the first step at all. The error is coming. It is invariably happening in all the instances. Actually. I and I have to contact order management only when uh, I I learn this part. Otherwise, it's very very difficult. And people customize it from a technical perspective because thirty percent of order management is technical actually. So once when a message comes, your product will not be progressing. And similarly, there is a ready-made item which has to be interfaced to what happens. You are manufacturing now. So <clears throat> I have one ready-made item. So there also the same problem is coming. I have to find out if anybody finds an instance where it is progressing. Please tell me. I will not make a small video on the thing. I will not go on the, uh, for the ready-made item. That is the vision item. Again, when the when the workflow is customized, gone. You cannot do anything at all on this. Thing. People experiment so much, and then they are spoiled. Almost every I have tried some four or five instances. Everywhere it is not working at all. At least up to more you can see now. Fine. More you can have a look at it. Fine. Go there. All the prices, everything is coming on offer. You know. So I will not paste this item. This is a ready-made item, which is beginning interface to manufacturing it. You can manufacture the product. You can see it's not saying out of stock. It doesn't matter. <coughs> Click on add. <coughs> this vision instance is fully configured for <coughs> all the offer. Go to the supply. It is a 051 now. There is a where it is defined actually. I will not give a save. <coughs> And then when, when I submit it again, it will not go beyond scheduling it. Submit it will not go beyond scheduling. If anywhere any of the instances is going, please tell me. I will make a small record and then I will demonstrate it also. I will not show you, but how it's all there actually. If any of the instances are working, refresh it, refresh it, and then go to actions and then go to uh, switch to fulfillment view. We are switching to fulfillment view. Go there, put it there. And then the, in the fulfillment lines, you click on the do now. There's a do number now. Go to the fulfillment lines and then click on the do. So it is a distributed order orchestration is a workflow actually. And then if you see this now, custom do is firing and click on refresh. I will not see whether it goes ahead or not. If it goes ahead, it will be great actually. Ah, oh, it's scheduled. Good, good, good. If the custom do is not triggered to that extent actually, we will not see whether it goes fully to awaiting shipping. Good, good. Scheduled has passed. Then request orchestration of supply actually. Now, the supply chain orchestration will not come into picture. The custom do is not affecting uh, this manufactured item actually. The pass has started. The ship back to back make actually. Back to back make is there. It has to come now. Since they wanted to check along with the assets also, fixed assets also, they have customized the do actually. And then it is not passing beyond the supply request is complete now. Supply request is complete. Now back to back has to come start now. Is a ready made item. We have to set up order management. We have to set up the global order promising. We have to set up manufacturing for doing it actually. Then only you can do it. Good, good, good. It is not progressing at least now. I will not show it to you, but how it is not there. Ship back to back. It has to go to awaiting shipping. It has not gone to awaiting shipping actually. Now, what happens is you go to the fulfillment lines now. Go to the fulfillment lines. Now, we can now see the 
स्कोर नंबर नो फाइन गोदे गोदे प्लेस अंदर ये गोदे जनरल नो सप्लाई डेंस कुल जनरल द सप्लाई ऑर्डर नंबर इस नॉट कम इट हैज़ टू कम नो द स्कोर इंटरफेस हैज़ टू कम नो फाइन गोदे लोगों ने वो अगेन रिफ्रेश इट इट मे इवन टेक सम टाइम फॉर द स्कोर ऑर्डर टू कम सो अवेडिंग सप्लाई इज़ देर नो सी द स्कोर ऑर्डर नंबर इस कमिंग नो क्लिक ऑन रिफ्रेश इट कम्स इट बी ग्रेट एक्चुअली So we will now forcibly also do it. Now okay? we will now run the process supply chain orchestration forcibly. Actually, it. So, no, no, no. Why that organize uh, warehouse is zero five one, no, no. Ours is zero zero one. Signed only zero five one actually. Signed only zero. Take on the first one. You know, ready for shipping it from this place. No, no, no. There is exception type is coming. No, no, no. I'm not able to see the exception actually. So it does not create a supply order. Let me forcibly create it. Okay, click on start new process. And then I will now say process supply. <clears throat> so uh, the custom. What type of supply it will create? No, it will be creating order means make order. It will not create a make order. Manufacturing order. Okay. Cool. So I will now say from order management, fusion order management. And then I will now leave everything blank. Fine. Okay. It will now run for everything. So the fusion order management has requested a process supply chain orchestration. Fine. Click on submit. If it works anywhere, please tell me. Fine, I will not demonstrate the balance actually, because the custom two is not working for the normal item at all. Normal item is not working because they have now added it for asset actually. So what they have done is they have added it for asset. So there is asset management coming on this place. Fine, that's why they added it. Normal item is not working at all. At least here it is now progressing to this extent. No, fine, awaiting supply, awaiting shipping is not coming for the normal items at all. Only. But the supply order number is not created. They not do anything at all. If any of the instances you are getting the supply order number, please tell me. I will now make a what's called a demo on this now. It is now succeeded. Now I'm going to go on. Now go to this place. So in this place, I have to get the order number. Now. Click on refresh now. Click on refresh and then see whether your order number is coming. If on any of the instances you are getting a supply order number, please tell me. I will now make a demo of this actually. I will now make a demo on this. But how it is getting interfaced to manufacturing? How it is manufactured? How it is coming back? How it is going to be shipped to the customers? Everything I can demonstrate. But everywhere the people have done so much. The custom. Do Anna, we can we can see the error message in supply orchestration, right? Supply Sorry. orchestration and in inventory manage supply execution even supply orchestration area. No see the error now. Surya is saying that we can see the error there now. I am not tried it. Just uh, last time you said. Go to the supply. Go to the supply orchestration now. Yeah, we'll see whether we can see the error or not. I'm taking a longer time. I told only one hour, but <laughs> because of these problems now, and then a lot of discussions. Go to the manage supply here or in this place. Which one I do? Manage supply. Say in manage supply lines. Lines itself we can see, yeah. Yeah. Manage supply lines. I had to query on what item or what. Item. At item level. Item yes. level. I will not take a copy of the item now. Go and then query for the item. Paste it and then go to tab now. And then click on search. So it is now it has now created. Uh, what is the problem now? Fine, is that basically a make item now? Fine in production fulfilled. Oh God, it's all coming now. Fine, click on it. I think the job order has got completed, but it is not putting it there. Okay, maybe it might have completed. It. The job order might have been created. It's a make make configuration. We'll be teaching all these things in manufacturing. Okay, fine. Shenzhen is a is a Chinese company. Fine, they have you no know, even example on this. Fine, okay. so click on it. We will know in the bottom order, but they will not see the what's called the make order. No, fine, click on the make order. The order is there or not? Hmm, it's not showing anything. I'll, otherwise, click on the second line and then see the order number. Yeah, the order number is created exactly. Fine, it is not updated only. Fine, doesn't matter. It is not updated here in the orchestration plan. It is not updated. It is not created the order. It is not updated in the fulfillment lines. If you go to the supply, fine, okay. In the supply, what happens? The order number is not updated, but it has now created a make order actually. Go this place, and then the make order is created. So W zero zero five one one zero one seven. Let us now go and then manufacture this product. So work order creation is now complete. You have to click on the first or second line. The work order is created. Right click and then duplicate. You are now going to have a look at the work order. Go to this place, and then here I will now go to what supply chain execution, <clears throat> and then I will now go to work work execution. Supply chain my execution, and then go to the work execution, and then I'm going to see the work order now. Click on it, work order. Click on it. We'll now go to what? We have to go to review dispatch list. This is where where the production starts. 
I click on the review dispatch list. Review dispatch list. And then I'll query the work order number. So the work order number is here now. In this place it is there. So W0051 1017. WO work order. 051-1017 and make a search of the work order. So nothing is coming. That means what? The uh, you can then say all no. Fine. All the work areas and then make a search no. So we have to release it for production actually. Fine. Click on let us know. Release it for production. Fine. Take a copy of it. Let us know. Status. Status. Status also. Oh, status is also all no. Fine. So click on it. All and then click on search no. Also is open. Let us also all fine. Then let us know. Release it for production. <coughs> click on done. Go to space. Go to the manage work orders in the manage production area and go there and then no query it. We had to release it for production actually. Work order number, I'm pasting it over here. Thank you, but I have no. Then click on search. Where do we get from? <coughs> click on search and then it will be ready for production. Oh God, it is not coming. Start date, I will not leave it now. No, no, do we have the access for this user to access it? Oh, oh, it may not be there, no, fine. Manufacturing. Mm, yeah. It may not be there at all. Fine. I will not give the access for him now. Fine. It may not be having that. You may not be having the access for production actually. So let me give the access roles now. Now to give a role. And go to this place. Go to the supply chain management and then go there. And then I will now go to the security console. Not this one. I will now go to the tools and then security console. Let us now give him access to production actually. So there are two roles which are involved in this now. Let me give access to him. So you go to the users and then you go to the SCM 15. Huh? The SCM 15 is the one entering now. Select it. <coughs> and then click on edit and then add two rules. Go to the add. <coughs> what is the manufacturing engineer? <coughs> manufacturing engineer is basically responsible for uh, your bomb creation, the work order creation actually. Manufacturing engineer for 001. I'm adding it now. Uh, and then what is this? Is not Aura, sir. Yeah? That's not Aura, sir. Jira Jira one, then. It's not Aura, no? fine. It's 001. That's not Aura. Okay, okay, fine. Let me add that uh, manufacturing. There is a 001. Manufacturing engineer of Aura. We have no idea. First one. The first one, let me add it now. Excess roles, it doesn't matter actually. Production supervisor. Production supervisor. Oh, it's not Production supervisor of Aura. <coughs> Give this now. <coughs> Click on add room membership. Click on done. So we are given these two roles, and then data access is also required for these two roles. So click on save and close now. We'll now give data access for this also. <laughs> Manufacturing and inventory need data access, whereas procurement do not need any data access at all. So click on done now. Okay. So what is the setup and maintenance? Click on it. And then we'll now go to search. It is managed data access. Entering. So managed data access for users. We go there and then query for it. And then click on plus and now add both the things now. So it's a CM15 and then your app. And then one is a manufacturing MEA MU and then your app. Manufacturing engineer. Here is a manufacturing plant. It is 001. No, not 001, 051. It is 051. I might not have even change the org there. I mean, there's another thing. <laughs> and then click on plus now. And then go there. And then there's a CM15. They have assigned it to 051 actually. It is a production supervisor. P R O D U. And then you have production supervisor. And the manufacturing plant is 051. So these two roles are required for manufacturing the product. And then we'll know uh, what happens. Uh, restart it actually. If I go to the manager orders, we'll not take a copy. It is a uh, 97400. And then we'll keep it on this place now. Order number. So we'll now give it done and then we'll now restart it actually. Because when a major change is done, it is preferable to restart it actually. So go there. So click on sign out and then sign in. All these things will now close it. So click on confirm and then go there. And then sign in. And then we'll now go to the work area and then change the org. Go to the supply chain execution, go to the work definition now. 
work definition and then change the R to 051. I might not have done it also, but maybe change the R to 051. 051. It is a vision R and then it is all inbuilt actually. Maybe I, I need not have to give the roles and all. Right? Everything is inbuilt on this now, fine. So I, I might have forgotten to change it. So no need to add the roles and data access because it's all built inbuilt actually when it may work actually. And change the org and then afterwards go there. Not necessary for you. When you're discussing, when you're doing it, no need to add roles because this is a mistake. This is a mistake actually. So go there. I will not uh, go on the product name itself. I will not copy and paste it. So take of it and then put on the space. And then take on the work definition. And any work definition, no create or not. So double star, everything is not going to search now. Yeah, it is there. So click on it, it will not edit it actually. So go to actions and then go to edit. Uh, how to edit it? Edit is not there at all. In the version we are having the, no, sorry, click on the main icon, Nana. Main. In the main, ah, yeah, yeah. You have to click on the main icon to edit it actually. And click on the main icon. And then click on the main icon. Yeah. In the main icon, there's a, there's a the thing. We are going to have a look at it now. You're going to change the status. We are going to release it to production actually. So before this, what happens, we will not have a look at the item now. And the structure will not have a look at it. Whether there is any included items that have been configured on this or not, we will not have a look at it. Fortunately, it is working in e item. Okay. So there are so many things are coming up on this place now. So it only shows you this now. That means what only in the work definition area we have to go on and have a look at it now. So before which whatever right click and then duplicate let us now query this item and then see whether in the structure whether we have any included item or not so now go to the product management and then go to the product information management product management product management. let me query this item. click on it go there <clears throat> so i go to the browse items and then query the item now so item is already copied now okay, copy. I'll go there and query the item so click on search now so the item is assigned to multiple oxygen. and 051 I will not be yeah, no, working upon it. 051. I will not go on and choose it. <clears throat> In this place, we will now have a look at the structure. So go to the structures and then have a look at it. Go to the structures. And then click on the primary and then have a look at it. So go there. So here uh, I will now choose one of the components. One of the components and see. It doesn't show here. It will also it will not show you. I know that one of the components it will now enable the what's called view and then go to the component order management. Go to the component order management. Here itself you can see. If option is no, it is included item. It is not. So if option is no, all these things are included items. See everywhere he is including everything. So all the components are known. All the components are known. So we have got plenty of components. All those are known. all are included items only. If you go to the work definition, so here there is nothing for him to choose at all. Fine. They all get added to this. So let's say CM uh, what is that? Six eight four five triple zero. CM six eight four five triple zero. CM six eight four five triple zero. We'll go have a look at it. Where are the place? Go down. CM six eight four five triple zero six eight four five triple zero then one two everything is there fine if you go there and then have a look at it now uh, then zero zero one zero zero two then six eight four five one zero zero fine all these things are included so they have configured everything as what oh, six, seven, so everything is on so since everything is no it gets automatically added to the work definition actually they get automatically added to the work definition so that's why all these things are coming over here so this is the operation of Fine. You can now see in which operation the which component has been added. The chases assembly, we have item three items are there. Fine. Click on three items, you can see this is the items that have been added. So they have added six five four five zero zero one one and two. And this is the items that are added. So they only add it to the appropriate operations actually. But otherwise, what happens? They come over here for you to add, add it. So click on the next one now. In the next one, how many components are added? See, there are three components that have been added. So click on it now. Click on it. And then in this place, there is no component for 30th also. You know, see, 30, they got four items on. Right? Click on it. These are the four items that are added. So they added what? 1000 and then 500, uh, 100, 500, 500, 501, 502. So they are already there in this place if you go there. So uh, 501, 502, or the one that chases and everything is fine. So uh, one is 100 actually. 5110, then afterwards 501, 502, 503 have been added over here. So likewise, whatever they have made it, everything has got included item on the component actually. So you may have to decide how you want it actually. 
mutual exclusive is not applicable for random so this is how it's working or you understanding it now so they have already added so something like what happens you are having a mouse pad mouse pad will be given they will be it will be tied along with the laptop and then it will be given to you the mouse pad so otherwise it will be inbuilt into the system itself so that the manufacturing will design so in the manufacturing area we are going to add the component to appropriate operation actually they got four operations in the test what happens there will be any any component there so on the second and third this is a testing operation no woman there whereas for the first we have got three components we got three components and then in the third base assembly base server assembly we got four components now and then in the io test you know see the test will not be having any components added actually so if you go to the io test no components and then the rack assembly rack cabinet assembly they have added seven components 10 components have been added and then the software installation you know see there will not be any one one component is there the software installation is basically oracle oracle linux pre installed component is now getting added only so the included item will be interface to manufacturing but what happens it may not be what happens it will not be uh, available for the sales order in the sales order it, they are not shown there at all even if you click on the more you won't be able to see the sales order at all so let us now complete the manufacturing actually thank you so let's go there so in this place we are able to see only the work operation we'll now go to the manage i will now go to the place go to the we'll now go to the what's called work execution area we go to the supply chain execution and go to the work execution area so here we are going to see this so one click on the work execution area all our component is as a squad or squad included item thank you so click on the manage work orders we are unable to see we will not see whether we can see it or not we have to release the thing to production actually so work order number is what uh, uh, look at the item number here okay you see it okay you have to have them see whether we can in the in the in the execution production execution we will not see this what are the mistake here next day i will not make it as a blank and then make a search now okay Abiding scheduling fine status is all. Status is all. I'm going to take on search. Ha! Ah, Why well, it's not coming? It is AS five eight four one one. The manager work orders is not coming at all. But the bill is there. But no, the, no, is it a correct? Ah, oh, okay, it's coming. It's uh, they've taken a long time. So what it is saying? There are some errors on the start date. I think we can't now find there is error on the start date. There is an error on the start date. If you go the near it and pass to due, fine. It is now saying 2016. You have to start now, and the completion date is also pass to due. So click on it. So the status is coming as completed. That means what the manufacturing is completed. How come here? It is automatic or what? I don't know. The status is completed. It has to be released actually. The status is completed. If you go to the operations, you can see all the operations are completed. It is not saying. So it says what are the components which are required, what are the resources which are required. So this is now completed. This is now completed. All of them are auto completed actually. Maybe when you release it from uh, manufacturing, it gets auto automatically completed. I don't know how to set it up actually. How to make it as automatic complete? That I have to learn actually. Somebody learn it and then tell me. Because normally what happens, it will be on a on a, on, a, on a unreleased status. We have to release it and then release it for production actually. All the points are coming as completed. So this I have to learn actually. Do not learn actually. I hope. Sir, Nana, sir, uh, how this item? This bucket is, is a very old one. Oh, uh, tell me, tell me one by one. Tell me. Sir, how this uh, items are assigned to our? These items are not to be are used right? like, you know, by the what's called uh, by the process actually. So these that's... items are not belongs to ours, right, sir? Yeah. All these uh, components I also don't know about in the automatic fashion how the items are getting assigned to the respective operations actually. Right. This also I don't know. I need to learn this now, right? So it's all assigned to the respective operations. How it is automatically getting assigned? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It is because the work definition is made like this. The work definition we have assigned it because of which it is now on the work order it is coming in this. On the work definition they have already assigned it. You will be assigning it to the work definition. And then because of which the respective components go into respective operation. The chassis assembly, this component, the power on test, nothing. And then the base server assembly, this component, they are assigned. They are assigned to the work definition actually. But how would they are all getting completed in one go? This I am unable to understand. So, no, no, is it a correct work order which we are searching? Hey, one zero. Exactly. This could be the old one. Okay, there is only one work order there. If you go there, no. Okay, there is only one work order available there. I'm not sure about it. One zero one seven was the work order, no? But have you seen it now? Mine. Now go and then have a look at that. What's called uh, our uh, right click and then duplicate. We'll now have a look at the sales order. In the supply chain orchestration, we have seen only that, no? We go to the order management and then have a look at it now. Go to the order management and then you now query the order number. 
So order number is what? 97400. 97400. And then click on search now. Go there. Click on it and then you know, go to this place. Processing. What actions? I'm going to switch to fulfillment view. Okay, I'm going to switch to fulfillment view. And then here you're seeing it. Go to the fulfillment lines. And then I have a look at it. Okay, click on the do number. It now says what the production complete has to come now. Fine. Production complete is not coming. It's still saying awaiting shipping actually. So once when the production is complete, it has to say it is ready for shipping actually. It's not coming. You go to the fulfillment lines. There is something the custom do is not doing all these things. Fine. Something has been written generically and then not doing. Fine. Here we got the order number. Yes. We got the order number. So click on the order number. Supply order number came very late actually. Fine. Click on the order number. And then how are we? Fine. It's not showing all these things. You go there, click on it. It's in process, Nana. I think status is in progress. Why is not done? We will not try to complete it manually, also. We'll not see whether it is. Possible. And make, click on the make, Nana, below. Yeah, Maybe yeah, yeah. it will showcase the work order. Make. So yeah, it's 1018 is the latest, latest one, oh, which is in okay. release. Okay, it's not fine. It's 1018. Okay, fine. So we had to work on the 1018 and not 1017. 1018 is the one. Oh, I was working on the release. It is now released, actually. So click on it. We'll not, we will now complete the production. Yes, there is a release date. It's not one zero one zero. It's released. So initially, what happens? It will be in a status of what uh, on a what's called unreleased actually. Afterwards, you have to release it. Thank you, God. Let us now move the assembly in the shop floor. One zero one eight. Sorry. How come I got the one zero one seven actually from that? Okay, fine. That was not showing properly. It took some time actually for completing. So one zero one eight is the one thing that cancelled. So work order is there. So let us now do the what's called the transaction on this one. Thank you, God. Now let us now go to the review dispatch list and then query. Go there. I will now go to the review dispatch list and then we will now move the assembly in the shop floor. Go to the work order number. Thank you for time. And then click on search. We are going to move it now. Select and then expand it. So it has got multiple operations. I go there. I will now perform complete with the what happens uh, uh, with the details. It was you no know, planned for this moment. Click on complete the details. I'm not going to complete the details. So the first one, I will now give a note now. And then click on next one. The process is a backflush material. The materials will be backflushed. So for backflushing the material, we need not have to have a stock at all. It, it can drive inventory negative. Remember, movement requests cannot drive the inventory negative. Fine. And then uh, if uh, enforced negative quantities, uh, no negative transactions, then it will not allow. Otherwise, it will allow it. So all the things are still there. Click on next now. Even if you don't have a quantity, it will be backflushing it. You go to the auto transact resources. Here resources are getting transacted. If you have an instance of a resource, you can populate it and then give on seven close. The tenth operation is now getting complete. Seven close. The tenth operation is now getting complete. So what does it mean by backflush? Backflush is basically uh, drawing from the inventory actually. When you want to draw, we can very well draw. Say for example, I am having a big roll of sheet metal actually, and then I am going to cut one meter of sheet metal. So once when I go on and do it, it will be what happens? A drawing one meter from the inventory. So you got around 50 meters out of which one meter of a cut sheet is now drawn from my inventory. So this process is called backflush actually. Okay. Drawing it and then bringing it to the manufacturing area. That is not what is called backflush. Now you can see operation quantity one at operation number 10 is now completed. I go that now the 20th operation is ready. The second operation is only test, and so it is not a what's called a count point operation. The 20th operation is not a one point operation. We are not going to exclusively move it to 20. So it goes to 30 and go there, expand it, and then we'll now complete it. Complete details. 30th operation is a count point operation. Go there. Give a note of your uh, uh, manufacturing and then click on next now. And then if you want to make a change in the backlash material, you can change it. Otherwise, leave it as such and then click on next now. You now go to auto transact resources and then click on save and close. Any resource instances available, you can do it now. It requires only this much of a resource on this now. And then it is not showing you. Fine. Click on seven close. Maybe the thirtieth operations are getting completed, and then next operation is fiftieth because fortieth operation and then twentieth operation are not what happens. Uh, the account point operations. That means what we need not have to record it is explicitly. Fine. Go there. Go there. We will not go there. And then we can also perform a going complete also. Always complete properly. Fine. Go there. Fiftieth is now ready for completion. Go there. And then click on next now. <clears throat> go to the back push. Then click on next now. <clears throat> click on seven close. Maybe which. It's not getting completed. The 50th, uh, you completed the quantity one of operation 50 and the work order. The next operation is 70th operation. So, now the, so expand it. The next operation is automatically populated over here. So click on complete details. Go there. And then give the note of your manufacturing. Click on next now. And then we are going to backtrace the material and then click on next now. And then order resource transaction. And then finally, we are going to inventorize the product. So click on next. The product gets inventorized. For the inventory. So here, nothing is coming because it is not having any other details. It will be fine. There are so many variants to it, which will be demonstrated during manufacturing. 
So click on save and close by which it gets inventorized. It goes into inventory under the final operation. Now you have completed the quantity of one operation and that to the sub inventory completed. In the sub inventory, what happens will be available. So you go there. We'll now right click and then we'll now have a look at it. Now right click and then go and have a look at it on this item. <clears throat> we'll go, to, go to the supply chain execution and go to the inventory management. We'll go there and then query the item as go to space and then have a look at it. What happens? The manage item quantities on 051 actually. 051. Change the organization to 051. 051 is the organization. Okay. And then go there. It is also a vision organization. No need to add the roles and indexes, I think. I will not populate the item over here. No, this one. I will not take copy the item and then do it now. Not take copy it. And then go there and then query this one. So go to query now. It. So if you expand it, the one quantity which has been manufactured is reserved for the sales order actually. Go to click on it. And then view the availability. It is not available for the generic use actually. Because again, this is order. Fine. So available to transact is only zero. Fine. So the total, nobody else can reserve this product and then nobody can transact on this because it's not reserved against the sales order. So the one quantity is now reserved for the sales order. And so if the next sales order is asking for it, it will now say there is no medical at all. <coughs> the reservation will fail. <coughs> But Nana, did we run the reservoir program? No, it is automatic. <clears throat> okay. Whenever it is manufactured, sales order has created this one. And because of which, what happens, it gets reserved to the sales order automatically. Now you go to the manage orders. Now it has to show me what happens if you give it and now. So it is on the supply order front. If you give a refresh now, it has to say that it is now completed now. In production is now saying. It takes some time to what happens, update it over you now it is in production. Supply orchestration takes a long time. And if you go on, then uh, what happens? A uh, create, what happens? Uh, here, this is a, uh, it's called a supply order lines on this now. Fine. This is a, a supply orchestration actually. You will go there and then query the sales order, duplicate, and then go query the sales order. <clears throat> go this place. 97400 is the one. And go to the order management and then go there. Click on it. And then go to the order management. 97400. And go there. Okay. 97400. And then I make a search on this now. That's all. So it is all done now. It is still showing awaiting shipping. Come on, it is not yet come over here. It has to come. Once the manufacturing is complete, so I think I think it is for ready for picking, right, sir? It is ready for yeah. I can't cut you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you go to the general area, fine, go that click on it. In this place, goods are available. Yes, it's correct. It is ready for picking. It's very correct. So previously, it was having supply eligible, supply uh, what was available, supply eligible. Supply eligible. Now goods are available for shipping actually. Goods are available for shipping. Good, correct. Yes, I made a mistake. Goods are available. Now it is ready for shipping. Fine. Goods are available. It is again still on the awaiting shipping. Fine. Right click on the duplicate now. We will now have a look at it. We will now go to the shipping area and then we will now try to ship the product. 974001. Fine. We will now go to this place. Fine. Goods are eligible for shipping. Fine. And then you go to the inventory management and then go to the shipping now. Click on the shipping now. Goods are eligible for shipping. And go to that one. <coughs> so here you go there. And then I will not change it to shipment and then query the 97400. Find manage shipment lines and then I will not. It is eligible for shipping, picking actually. It is eligible for picking. 97400. Find go that click on it. I click on search now. It is searching for it. <coughs> so sometimes what happens? Uh, there is 051 only. Find click on search now. Uh, this one we will not say uh, before some date. So it comes or not. It must be eligible for shipping on the 051 hour. I'm changing the date. Schedule ship date to whatever before some date, some dates now. We will not launch the pick release once when it is available over here now. This is something you come. You go to sections and then go to pick release. So the pick release as well as the pick confirmation process will be completed in one go now. And click on pick release. The concurrent will be running. Sir, one question, sir, here. So it is similar like the back to back, right? We have it. Yeah, yeah. It is only back to back. This is called back to back. Back to back. So one question on the item. How how the system identify there is a back to back item? It is we, because of setups. Now. We have to perform the global order promising setups as well as item setups. So these two things put together makes the order management sense. It as what as a back to back make. Yeah. No, actually, one uh, item attribute is there. Not only item attribute, but the yeah. global order promising also has to be set up properly. Okay. Item attribute plus global automobile. So there's no stage. Fine, go back to on it. 
So that is why it has interface to manufacturing. Fortunately, here it is working now. Right? The E-tan is working. So all of you can uh, verify this. Go to this place now. Go there. Uh, so in this place, whatever everything is coming, and we'll now go to the ship confirmation. Right? Click on ship confirmation. So click on okay now. Right? The ship confirmation was confirmed. Go there. So it is not shipped, and then what happens? The concurrence will be running. Right? The send the shipment advice will be running now. And go to this place. The manage orders. So manage orders. You know, right click and then duplicate. You know, see on the scheduled process, the send shipment advice will be basically coming. So go to the tools and then go to the scheduled shipment. Schedule, schedule process. Go there. <coughs> so like the send shipment advice is not running. So once when it completes, it will be interfacing it to order order entry actually. The shipping execution will be interfacing it to order entry. So by which you will be having it now. I'm sorry, I've taken a longer time. <laughs> I never thought that it was going to work actually, but it is working. Sir, it is a wonderful time. No, no, sir. <laughs> it is a wonderful time and wonderful session. I understood a lot, no? Yeah, yeah. I think partially you have completed some order management as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Order management, <laughs> bill of material, <laughs> work in process, all three modules we have completed today. <laughs> <laughs> I need to give me a is increasing. <sighs> Go there. So, since you put advice, once when it is completed, you can now see the sales order will be going to awaiting billing also. It will be going to first ship and then afterwards going to awaiting billing. Go there. Go to this manage orders. Go to this place. So, sales order will be going. What, what happens? First of all, to uh, I am in the computer rentals. I will know. Uh, click got done now. Come, come to the main area. So here, yeah, you know, go to the actions and then go to switch to fulfillment view. Go there. And go to the general area. You go to it. So sales order would have to go to awaiting or you know, processing is now coming. So it will be shipped and then afterwards it will be going to what awaiting billing. So there is no processing. So it takes a longer time here. <coughs> In reality, it won't be taking uh, so much of a time actually. So if you click on the orchestration number on the fulfillment lines, if you click on the orchestration number, I click on it. So now have a look at it. So it is awaiting billing. Yes, it has gone awaiting billing. That is the final status. It has been put. Sir, what is the sir? What is the orchestration? Uh, this one here linking, sir, is a new concept, right? Uh, all together, it is. Uh... Your question. Your question, please again. No, sir. Here it is linked with the orchestration, right? Uh, order orchestration, uh, that concept. Orchestration so, is a new concept to just come in now. Go there. So it is an orchestration process. Where is it here? Go to the manage. Now here is the order. So if you click on refresh now, it will now say completed. Production completed. Production is fulfilled actually. So the production is now coming as fulfilled actually. And then it is closed. The work order is completed. So, so order, sir, order orchestration. orchestration stops at once when the uh, item is available on the destination sub inventory, the orchestration gets fulfilled. Once again, there is a one one topic on this. Topic. So it is a part of GOP, sir, order orchestration. So orchestration is not part of a GOP. Uh, I have one do line. Do you remember the, what the, uh, what's called? The do. One do is there. So do is not, uh, the supply orchestration is not part of a GOP. So here, if you see the do now, fine. do has got two things. What is what distributed orchestration? It begins on submitting the order and then ends when the line status is closed. Actually, you have to close the line. When the line status is closed, it ends in. So it's not closed. Now line status is closed. If you see, if you go there and have a look at it, line status is closed. So go there, click on done now. The line status is closed actually, not this one. Sorry, uh, on the orchestration process. You now go to the manage orders. No, fine. You go to the manage orders. So here, if you give a done now. The line status is closed. Click on done and then come to the main line. So, awaiting billing, it is now gone. Thank you. So, now uh, uh, 97400. And then click on search. So, it is awaiting billing. So, it is now interface to this. So, the moment you create the AR invoice, the line status will be closed. Actually. So, once when you create the AR invoice, we will now see, we will now create the AR invoice also and then see. Now, I'm going you know, go to this place and go to that. You will know import order invoice. It's called import order invoice. Import order invoice. You tap import order invoice. So we are going to create the invoice also. 
AR invoice, I'm going to create first. Click on okay. You can now see this. So I'm going to import it. The business unit is years one. And then we'll have the business unit is coming. So the transaction source is not this, it is a distributed order orchestration. You choose the distributed order orchestration thing, right? So and then you the sales orders number is now coming from uh, the sales order number from 97400 and then it's also there. So I am now running the import order invoice in the AR now. So if it is successful, then what happens? You now say the line status gets closed. So it is the responsibility of every CSR. CSR is customer service representative to close each and every line. So he has to ship it and then close it now. So once when you show his work is over actually. His work is over. Nana, you are going to cover a little bit finance also. <laughs> <laughs> Import in order invoice. Since people are asking what happens, let me cover the full cycle actually. Import order invoice running. So once when this is completed, you can now see that a report will be coming about what exactly has been imported actually. You can even have a look at the report. No order invoice execution report is running. You can now see this now. So import order invoice is succeeded. And then if you go to the manage invoice, the line will be the line will be closed actually. And now have the line. It is now awaiting billing. If you refresh it, the line gets closed. Once when the invoice is created, the line gets closed. Right? It has to inform the feeder system. There is one more thing. Right? The line is built out. Right? There's no coming as built up. Line is built out. Line is built out. Now we can even close the header now. Right? The header has to close. So once when all the lines are closed and then built. What happens there? We had to run. What happens? We had to run one more concurrent call. Go to the place. We will now go to the scheduling process. We will now run one more concurrent. I know that uh, uh, it's a percentage. What is the concurrent name? We are fine. Percentage close. Uh, I forgot the concurrent name. <coughs> it's a close something now. Uh, close. Uh, update. Sorry. It's update and close. I mean, now what happens? We go there. Percentage update. Percentage close. Close. Right, there's an update and close moment on it. Let's see whether it comes or not. Update or close sales orders. Right, click on it now. And then here I'm going to close the header now. Entity's header. G D R. Go there. And then interval hours, I will not make it as zero, otherwise it will not close immediately. I will not leave it as a header. I'm going to close. Right, click on something by which the header gets closed. So CSR is supposed to report the closure of sales orders now. Line level as well as header level also. Update or close sales orders not only. So once when it's completed, the header gets closed. It is a similar one like EBS now. The header gets closed. And then the monitor process. Yes. Yes. What is CSR? No, no. Update of closed sales orders. The execution report is coming in the medium order. They don't have the import. And import order execution is a report means we can publish now. Report can be very well published, republished actually. Go there. So click on republish and then have a look at it. So it will not show you what has been uh, brought over there. Click on it. Export to PDF. Have a look at it. And then save it. I'm taking a longer time, but <laughs> since you're all interested in seeing it, I'm going to it. It's not showing you all these things. So selected successfully processed four. How come four lines are coming here? I given only one component there, now. We are having some existing sales order, is it right now? Something is full. I think it put all the sales orders. One second, one second. Four lines are coming. Oh God, 55,000 so and so. Oh God, it is now put everything. And I'm not understand this now. Why four lines? Maybe invoice is only one now, but uh, number of lines is four. Okay, we'll see in the AR what exactly these lines are. I'm not sure about why this is now processed to four. Now. Selected four and processed to four actually in this report. In 97400 only. It has now processed only our sales order now. And we are given only for our sales order. But there are four lines are there. We'll now go on and have a look at uh, or uh, what's called. We'll go there. We'll now have a look at the AR now. Right click on the duplicate. We'll now have a look at the AR invoice actually. Why four lines are there? We go to the AR. Where is the AR here? Order to cash is already given the role now. Fine. You will be having the receivables also over here now. Where is the receivables? Or is it uh, removed now? Click on it. We'll now. Try to bring it in now. Receivables is not shown here now. Just see whether receivables is enabled or not. Maybe I think we need a, a order to cash is only a push now. So we need a role for the receivables also. I think we'll now add the role. No, 
will now add the receivables manager role and click on the tools and then go to the security console will now add the receivables manager role go to the users now the users and then it is a scm 15 the one entering now so go to this place and then click on edit and then add role receivables manager role My accounts receivables. Ah, it is accounts. This is very very accounts receivables. No, forgot Accounts receivables. R E C I. Accounts receivables manager role. Accounts receivables manager role. What is this one? Accounts receivables manager role. I'm adding it now. Click on it. Then we will be getting what about the receivables part also. So click on save and close. I'm not sure whether it needs any data access or not. Will not log and login. Without login, it will not see that it comes or not. Receivables that comes is great. Receivables is coming or not? Just have a look at it. We are unable to see in the fact that it is not log and login. Okay, we will know uh, what happens. I preferably give the data access also for this one. Because if it doesn't give, it may not come because financial entities always need data access. Go to this place. We'll know this. We'll know see whether it comes here or not. Receivables is coming or not. It's coming. And click on it. We'll now go to the what's called billing area and then have a look at it. We'll now see whether directly. Without data access, we'll not try now. Receivables and then go to the billing now. We'll now have a look at it. And go to the place. We'll now go to the what's called manage uh, transactions. Click on the manage transactions. And then the reference number is sales order number 97400. The bill to customer is what? It is a computer services and vendors. This is a mandatory field, fine, order one of the vendors. And then the reference number is also going to click on search and it will not show you this whether the invoice is not made or not. Come on, come on, come on. Have a look at it. Whether it is come or not, no, have a look at it. So click on the hyperlink on the transaction number. You will now see why four lines are there in this. There are four lines are there. We imported four lines. Here it will give you full details of this. Go down, and then here, what happens? Go there. Only one line is there. It was showing four lines. But how come the unit price is this here? Okay, that unit price is like that only. Okay, unit price is okay, but it was showing me four lines. Somebody make an R and D and then see what. Why? It's maybe tax. Ah, maybe tax, but it's not showing here. Not tax. Maybe may you click on the details now. Click on the details. It may be tax. Yeah. You Transaction total value is there. Upper a header level. Okay, okay. No idea at all. When somebody make an R and stuff, I am able to give a, the four lines. Now. The transaction value is there in the upper. But it was showing me four lines now, and I don't know how the four lines is coming. Okay, fine. You us. And then if you go on and look at the sales order, we will not try to close. Update and close also we are completed now. Fine. Go there, click on the now. We'll now have a look at the sales order. So click on it. We'll now go on and have a look at the sales order. Also. They go, they go to the order management and then go to the order management. Go to the order management. <coughs> order management. And then have a look at it. So 97400. And then click on search. So here, the header is closed. When you run the update or close sales orders, the header and lines are closed. So it is the responsibility of the CSR, the customer service representative. Let's say he is now processing around 15 sales orders. Every order has got seven or eight lines. He has to close each and every line and then close the header also. Then his activity is completed. Now the AR's revenue management has to go to the customers and then obtain the payment actually. So he will be in fact discussing with the MD because he is the man who is bringing in revenue. Now fine, he is the breadwinner for the company, and so he will be having a direct discussion with the MD regarding how many he has closed. So he has to book the sales order and then he has to close the lines also. Only when the shipping department, he will not say there is a problem in the shipping, sir, and then MD will not arrange something. Some other vehicle will not arrange. So he will not be reporting directly to the top for any problems for his closure, actually. In the evening, they will be having a discussion. And then while discussing, they will be asking when the production heads and then the transportation heads to attend the meeting, actually. And then he will not tell all the problems to them. And then accordingly, what happened, the problems will be resolved and then he will be communicating to the customer. He is a friend end for the customer also. 
he will be communicating sir it is now in the manufacturing the manufacturing is now in process it is now completed we are now going to ship it like that what happens he will be communicating with the customer also he is a front end for the company actually he is a big man the csr the customer service representative and then now what happens i have done the complete uh, configuration of this now fine for my item so i will now go to the configuration says uh, what is the original item number here i forgot that it was a uh, that one i will not put on the space on the original item number anybody remembering i know modify it so i'll not create a order for this now i have already uh, configured the complete one actually go to this one i want to yes one to duplicate it i will not put the computer the computer services windows i'm going to choose now right half of it will be coming automatically on this one Services and that's not coming. That's why it's not good. Computer service and that's not good. I will not put the item number. It's an seven zero some number here. Seven zero. Give it up. Give it up. We'll see whether we're able to find it. It's the ADO model. I'm going to put it now. Something I've already created the complete one. So you create your own and then see it. Now. It's the ADO model desktop. Seven thousand one is the one. I will not put the seven thousand one. I will not go for some high quantities. So go there. So I have now configured this as a ten dollar price actually. I have now go for five quantities, and then I have now go to configure and add. So here it will now show you everything on this. All the things are fine. So the first one he is undesired. In this place, what happens? He is now undesired. So whether to choose the eight GB or sixteen GB, he is leaving it as none actually. Then the first component will be selected. On the accessories option class, if you see, M is no. That means what? There is no such restriction that only one has to be chosen. So it is not a what's called a radio button actually. So here, here what is it? So one and one or any actually, one or any. So he can choose one or any, but he cannot choose zero also. Fine, he has to choose one or any. So here also what happens? He is not undecided. What to choose now? <clears throat> he has to choose either two-year warranty or this one or this one. All the three are optional. So one of them he has to choose. But he is unable to under undecided. Now fine, leave it as such. The system will automatically choose the two-year warranty because it is one or any. The second one is one or any. The third one is what? It is zero or one now. So it's zero or one. So again, since ME is on now, so it comes as a radio button. It can choose either this or this. And if he leaves it as none, nothing will be chosen because here it is what zero or any. In the first case, it is one and only one. So it's since zero or one, none means what? It will choose nothing actually. And then finally, on this one, zero or any actually. <clears throat> Go there. So he can choose what happens at zero or any. So you go there. You can choose a, all all of them. Also, you can choose the graphic card as per the joystick. The included items will be interfaced only to manufacturing. Actually, the mouse pad will be interfaced to manufacturing. All the included items will be interfaced to manufacturing. That while you are creating a work definition, you have to appropriately put all the included items at appropriate operation section. So here we are given none. This will be chosen. Here you are given none. None of the cameras will be chosen actually. Remember here both the graphics card chosen. Here eight GB RAM will be coming automatically. Frankly, can finish now and then have a look at it. The second radio option none, nothing, no camera will be chosen now because he has not chosen anything. So here it is undesired. Here also he is undesired. Frank, click on the more and then have a look at it now. So all the five components are coming. You can see the 8 GB, uh, 8 GB RAM is now going to come now. Where is the 8 GB RAM has come now? So none of the cameras are coming. Cameras are not coming. And then as per the graphics and joystick, he has chosen both. They are coming actually. And then the 8 GB RAM is coming. And then here. It is a what's called as a mandatory option as he has chosen the two-year warranty. So you can see the sales price as well as what as well. So this completes my demo <clears throat> on the bills of material as well as your order management as well as your manufacturing and then AR. It's a very big one now. <laughs> if you click on submit, you will not see. Uh, uh, sir, Nana, sir. So our item, right? It is start with the five zero, right? This is seven zero zero one. Is created earlier sir uh, no 70 7001 is the item but here our item is a0501 right where is a0501 no no it was initially 70 has been replaced with a05 oh okay okay <laughs> has been replaced by a05 and then 60s are replaced by a04 actually 60 okay. replaced by a05 got you are you feeling happy on this now Yes, sir. Very, very happy, sir. and uh, made me Thank made us so a very happy weekend. Actually. <laughs> so this was really a very worth session, sir. Okay, okay, on order management and uh, bomb. Excellent, uh, actually.
no words sir no words to say any other comments you have lots of patience sir thank you for, so much first day i got a very good <laughs> throughout the session yeah bye for now and then we will meet on 24th ंग No, uh, that to be Biju will tell. No, Biju, are you there? No class, sir. No class today, actually. Yeah. Biju has not confirmed it. So no, no. He will be announcing in the group, actually. Okay. Thank you. Uh, no, no, sir. I, I want uh, five minutes only to just explain that folders, like uh, uh, what we need to What's go through that. We will stop the recording, and then otherwise we will not talk. Sure, sure. Stop the recording. So, any other questions for the student now? too much no 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 question so no question sir so, uh, no question, sir. so uh, we, how sir we want this recording to uh, download it so how how we can get this one sir today session this one how oh, come uh, till now have you record have you downloaded any records have you downloaded any record uh, <laughs> it is the same way no uh, no no sir you have not even downloaded one record also okay i will explain friend let me explain about yes no no But these questions you should not ask after the okay. inventory is over, no. <laughs> should have asked in the beginning, no. <laughs> okay, let me stop the record. Any other questions for the uh, the session actually? Okay. No, sir. That's so fine. we can right. practice uh, yes. that uh, ATO model in heat and right, sir. Yeah, yeah, at least yeah, in the present. I thought that it is not working, but it is working actually. In heat and right. Sure. Sure, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Let me stop the recording. If there is no other questions on this session actually. Okay. Let me stop.